Hey, we are live. I didn't look at you. We're going to go live. <laughs> I was waiting for the countdown. But guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live on YouTube. This is the first live. And I was like, let's make it special. Let's bring the person who I value their opinion very highly. Let's bring the person who's a part-time casual. The person who supports Man United. Part-time PSG fan, part-time Arsenal fan, and part-time Man City fan as well. Oh, Oh, hold up. Pause. Hold up. I wasn't listening at the end. I was like, hold up. Part time this, this, this. <laughs> but hold on Coming from a guy in a PSG shirt. Hey, yo. Hey, but uh, I'm very, very honored to bring my man, Lies Buziti. Appreciate it. I mean, we both know the reason you wanted me on your show is because you needed a studio to set up. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I see a few people from FTVL actually. You guys recognize this backdrop, but yo, it's an honor, bro. I've been seeing the growth on your channel. It's crazy, bro. Congratulations on 10K, of course. I appreciate it, man. And B, bro, you also inspired me to start YouTube up again myself. So big up you, bro. bro. Your, your two videos, Blue. The Eden, ha the Eden Hazard one, honestly, was one of my favorites. <laughs> I knew you'd like it because you're a big it, Hazard it, It's a sick, it, honestly, it's a sick video. Appreciate it, bro. But, but guys, listen, welcome here. This is, as you guys see by the title, this is a Jose Mourinho debate. For me, Jose Mourinho is one of the most important characters in football. He was the reason why I actually started watching, mm. one main reason why I started watching football. Funny story, which you might not believe me, uh, but Sharky kept back me on this. Everyone- I was gonna uh, say, did he, sign, did he sign your book? Not back. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, uh, in my- Hold on, hold on. They're saying, is the mic not on? Don't do that, hold up. Imagine this whole thing has been, yeah, the mic is on, bro. Production high. Nah, the mic is on, bro. My, my viewers, they always try and like trip me up, say that, oh, production oh, is really? slacking. Our... The mic is on, bro. <laughs> hey, come on, man. <laughs> but nah, about Jose, yeah. Hey, yeah. Jose, bro, when I, when I was uh, uh, at sixth form, when I was in school, I was applying for university. Mm -hmm. I put one of Jose's quote in my personal statement to apply for university. What was it? I said towards the, you know how towards the last, you guys, the people that live in the UK knows this. The last paragraph, you have to basically explain to the university why you are the right fit for that course. Yeah, I basically said, I feel like I'm the best, um, the best fit because I'm the special one. <laughs> I swear, bro. I swear <laughs> That's to God. fucking hilarious. But, but, but my two, my person two basically said, are you, are you crazy? Just delete that shit, which, which I had to. These guys but, saying, no way Faisal went uni. Hey, hey, come on, man. Respect me. Respect me. But guys, listen, welcome. I'm not going to take too much info, but one more thing. I just want to say thank you for every single person who subscribed. 10,000, which is insane, bro. Like, a couple weeks. I expected this to be a three months, four yeah, months, yeah. five months cycle. But the fact that we hit it so early, it's, it's down to you guys. All right, I've, I've spoken a lot. Yeah. Let's talk about Jose, the special one. I was going to say, me personally, I don't go as far as you, because I think you truly believe Mourinho is the greatest manager of all time. I don't agree with that, personally. I think that... Guys like Fergie, his longevity, and I think what Pep is doing right now, I actually do think that they are a little higher than him. But I, I have to say, my favorite manager of all time is Mourinho. Just because, bro, I, I believe like a personality like that, mm -hmm. bro. First of all, we don't see personalities like that yeah. anymore. I think the sport now is so... Uh, it's PR. It, it, there's so much PR involved. Like, you can't get away with this that he said Facts. throughout uh, his whole career. Facts. But I just, I just believe, bro, his, his whole career is crazy. Like, you have the highs... You have the lows, you have the, the redemptions, you yes. have him falling out with players, you have players who absolutely love him, players who absolutely hate him. I just think his whole career is fascinating. 100%. So for me, I always say this, right? When I'm older and I'm like doing something that I really want to be doing, like I'm successful in this field, my number one ambition in this industry is to make a documentary on Jose Mourinho. Bro, there's so many stories that you can make about Bro. him. I feel like he's the only, that's Latin, the person you just mentioned that yeah. he, they made yeah. a video. There's Ronaldo, yeah. like Cristiano, like all the storylines, and Jose, bro, like Jose, Porto Jose is different. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, the first stint, uh, Inter, Real Madrid. The moment, in my opinion, the most iconic moment is him winning the Champions League with Inter, the treble, and looking at, at, at Santiago yeah, Bernabeu yeah, yeah. and saying, you know what? I'm going to see you guys soon. <laughs> I, I will see you guys soon. I want a piece of that. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you guys soon. And bro, yeah. The next season, he comes and changes. Before we talk about that, let's, talk, let's go early. Let's go early, yeah, let's Jose. Start, let's start. The start of Jose. Are we talking translator days? Are you talking Portuguese? Do you want to? Do you, you know what? All right, translate. <laughs> hey, hey, that's food at days. <laughs> that's food. <laughs> that, that's food at days. Food at days are Mourinho playing goalkeeper for his <laughs> under 18 team. <laughs> hey, nah, nah, let's talk it about Porto. Porto, Porto. Jose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His first season, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people think that his first season, he won a Champions no. League. He wasn't. His first season, went to Europa League, mm -hmm. won the, won, at that time it was the UEFA Cup, yeah, yeah. won it. Second season, 
the, the season, which in my opinion made who Jose Mourinho is. Yeah. Especially that celebration at your home ground. By the way, we got cheated out of that game. Paul Scholes scored a goal that, that was wrongfully disallowed. But hey, you know what? It all adds to the story, to be honest with you. Come Maybe on, we man. wouldn't have Jose Mourinho today if that, that goal ended up counting. But exactly. honestly, that's before my time. I always say that. I'm very honest with when I started watching football. That's 2004. I was two years later. But I've seen the tape back. My dad obviously watched that. Bro, that, that Porto team and that achievement is one of the greatest managerial achievements of all time. bro. Because we know how difficult it is winning the Champions League. I mean... City, who for my reckoning have been the best team on the planet for the last like three, four years, yes. only ever won it this year and like barely. Like even yes. in the final, they they it, it could have gone either way. So the champions, I always say you have to be a great team, but you have to have a little bit of luck as well, too. Nice. So you have to have the rub of the green sometimes. So for a Porto team against Europe's elite to go all the way and win the Champions League mm-hmm. is crazy. And you look at his team, right? Okay, we see Deco and, and what he ends up doing, Carvalho, Ferreira. Ferreira. There are good players in this team, but it's not it's not this elite level team it it's Porto. It they have a budget they can't compete financially with the likes of united and real madrid so i always say that that achievement is for me his most impressive and and one that yo i don't think we can see many well, managers monaco before. monaco making the final in my yeah. opinion was a bigger surprise it's a crazy year yeah, well, yeah. it was a bigger surprise yeah, it's do you think you mentioned you mentioned one of the biggest achievements the most surprise who do you think is that the biggest shock of a team winning a trophy you've got greece with Portugal ah, for me it's easy you don't have to say all the names it's Leicester I, I don't I, I think Leicester, Leicester yeah because Leicester the Premier League with how much money is in that league for a team that had just been promoted two seasons back with players like Maras and Kante and Vardy what about like, Cup though? Cup it might be Greece, Greece is crazy bro Greece, Greece is a crazy at one home, at, yeah, at, 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 at Portugal yeah, as well yeah yeah Greece is a crazy one bro <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say Leicester to be fair. Yeah, Leicester, I think it is. I'll never see anything like that in my life, bro. For real. Yeah. Following the season, he wins it. Iconic Champions League. Mm. Goes to Chelsea. Before we go and start his Chelsea career, it's the press conference. The iconic. Hey, I can't lie. Yeah. For me, this is one of the fa- hard, this is one of the mo- hard, the best bro. moments I've ever seen. Him saying, I'm not one of the bottles. I think I'm the special one. I think I'm a special one. I think I'm a special one. <laughs> it's the same quote I used in my personal statement. There you go, man. That's, that's what I get you. So he won the Premier League, he won the Champions League, but he also inspired Faisal. That's three. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> hey, for me, I swear to God, I don't think I will ever, I can't lie, I'm starting to slowly, slowly fade into, you know what, is Pep actually the GOAT? Because mm. that, that treble with Will City has yeah. made me evaluate, you know what, I might I, I might be looking at it Here's the with thing a with me, though, Faisal, right? I always say this, even when you're talking about like players, when you get to that level of greatness, I really think you're, like, splitting hairs. It's mm. really, it comes down to preference. I, I, I'm not all about to say, oh, like, he, this guy's clear of this guy or this guy's clear of this guy. Pep and Jose, bro, paved the way. They did their own thing. They're great in their own respects. Now, if you prefer Pep's style of play, if you prefer Jose's underdog story, I don't really have a problem with any of that. Mm-hmm. That's the way I kind of see it when it comes to greatness discussions. Hundred percent. First season, Arsenal win the previous season. Invincibles, yeah. iconic. He joins Chelsea, brings the players that he wants. Of course, the, his Porto players came as well. Mm. Brings Drogba, Michael Essien. Yeah. And then his first season, in my opinion, it's a better season than Invincibles. That's just my opinion. I think it's a you better, guys, you guys it's a better jump- team, bro. What, 95 points? What, how many goals conceded? F- one loss. F- yeah. Uh, how many conceded, goals conceded? 15. 15 goals conceded. That, that's, that's a record. I don't think you'll ever see up. 100%. Team. The closest one was Atleti, 18 goals. Barca yeah. this season. You guys told me. I think. Oh, I you're think, talking. I didn't even know in Europe that was like oh, still the I'm thinking in the Premier League. In the Europe, the yeah. most, the, the, the fewest goals conceded in that league as 18 was Atleti. But Barca broke it. I think Barca this season had 15. Yeah, Barca had 15 as well. Wow. That's 15, crazy. which is crazy. Yeah. 15 goals in one season is mental, bro. And that 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 defense that he built, bro. Czech, Carvalho, and Terry, and Nakaleli right Ashley, in front of them. Ashley Cole, Cole was through. a little later, but like that team that can that see 15 goals, people forget. Gallas was even Gallas. Gallas, Gallas was a player. I, everyone remembers him for Arsenal yes. on the floor, and they think he's like a bum. Gallas was a player, bro. And that, Ferrer on the right. That midfield as well. Lampard. Frank. Yeah, yeah, he Thiago, bought he bought Balak right. afterwards, this and that. Yeah, yeah. But that, bro, he, he built a dynasty. Yeah. Chelsea became who Chelsea is. Because of Jose Mourinho. Of course. He gets sacked. Wrong. By the way, by the way, he beat your team once, twice, and did a double in terms of the Premier League. Okay. The third season, by the way, I'm just saying. Yeah. We, got our, of, we got our look back. You know, that, that concerned us a little bit. We got our look back. I'm just saying. <laughs> the third season, you guys beat him to it. He gets sacked wrongfully. In my opinion, the cha- let's talk about the Champions League as well. Yeah, yeah. The Liverpool goal, the infamous, or was it like the... 
the goal, the goal, uh, the goal, the goal, which, goal. Yeah, yeah, the goal, from, which, 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 which yeah, was yeah, never yeah. counting. I don't know how through, by the way, through. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the last mastermind thing. Oh, he didn't say Luis Garcia. No, he mentioned, bro. He mentioned all Spanish football players. I, I, I was so. He stupid. said Riera. Riera was. I was impressed. By I was Fu. impressed. When Fu said Albert Riera, I was like, hey, first, first, first. I wasn't familiar. Hey, I, I wasn't familiar <laughs> with the game. But he, he gets he gets sacked wrongfully, mm. and then of course goes to Inter Milan and builds in your and your your uh, most favorite team. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, they they hold a special place in my heart. I I love that team. I love the story. But yeah, man, honestly, it's a, it's another team that again, it's still an underdog in its own right. People will think of Barca, but in general, Inter hadn't won a Champions League for for decades, bro. Since mm. like the I think since like the sixties, seventies. But they they went for a huge run without the European Cup and. Uh, who was the, the president, the, the older um, guy? Uh, Moretti. Um, Moratti. Moratti, yeah, yeah. Moratti. He, Massimo Moratti had spent so much money. He broke the record for Vieri, Crespo. He had hired Mancini. And then Jose was like, okay, kind of like the final uh -huh. throw of the dice. Win uh -huh. me the Champions League. Uh -huh. And in, in, in typical Jose fashion, he did it, bro. Did it with Zlatan his first season and the following season. He said, you know what? Swap dude. Let's, let's let's change it up a little, bro. Eto Melito. You spoke Schneider. you spoke about it in your in your video. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people think it was a him going to Barcelona was a failure at that point. But looking back at it, you mentioned it. Looking back at it, bro, bro. Zlatan at that point was arguably one. Of the no, best no one in their in their right mind was thinking Barca got fleeced. People were That's saying true. they they were already the best team in the world, and they were adding like this guy that was a freak of nature, bro. Mm. It's only and, and the way Jose used Eto too on the right, like. Yeah, that yeah, was a famous quote where he yeah, says yeah. To, to Benitez, I don't I can... play right wing for you. I play but, right wing for more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on, respect him. Yeah, yeah. Respect him. And then, of course, Ghost Thing, enter the most iconic game, in my opinion. Mm. First leg against Barcelona, 2010 Champions League final. Yeah. Champions League semi final. He beats at San Siro 3-1. Yeah. Mycon scores, your guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all my guys. Snyder, my guy. Snyder scored. And, my I think, guy. and I think Diego Milito scored. My guy. <laughs> <laughs> They're all my guys. Hey, hey. <laughs> the second leg, the first 25 minutes, I would say. The first 30, 25 minutes. Um, uh, What's his he, name? He it was uh, Mota. Uh, Mota. Yeah, Mota. Mota gets yeah, Ricard. Yeah, Sergio Busquets, yeah. infamous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I swear to God, <laughs> wallah, I start to hate Busquets after, straight after that. I'm st I start to hate him. I swear to God. Yeah. He gets red card. Barca, of course, scores in the second half. Yeah, yeah. I think there was a uh, PK. PK. Yeah. With, with that turn. Nice he, finish. That, hey, hey, that turn, hard. that turn, <laughs> that turn. And then everyone thought from that moment, Barcelona was going to away goal. And that, bro, at that time, away goes Khan, isn't it? Everyone thought after you're gonna, that. You're going to need mods, by the way, bro. Well, a lot of people are saying some yeah, crazy no, stuff. The one guy is saying crazy stuff. And by the way, if you want to be a mod, D tell him DM you on Twitter. Uh, I wasn't. Uh, I'll be a mud on. Uh, I was. You know what? You know what? I, I, I'll make you mud straight away. You have to do it on, on off YouTube. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. No, Please. you won't be able to do it if you're here. So. Uh, Lumi, hit me up. Hit yeah, me up. Uh, hit up. Hit him up on Twitter. Send him your uh, your YouTube accounts or whatever, and then he'll add you guys. If you guys want to be mud, just just uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll be mud. You can't do it through here though. I can't do it here. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you how to do it after. Look at this man. Experience, bro. Experience. Production. <laughs> Please produce. <laughs> Where were we? Hey, uh, but yeah, yeah, second yeah. leg. Busquets, of course, the red card. No, no, Mata the red card. Busquets dive. Mm. PK, beautiful goal. Everyone thought from that moment PK scored, it would have been a second goal. Because yeah, yeah. at that point, away goal counted, bro. Yeah. So one more Barca goal was, into uh, Milan would have been. Boyan, I think he scored. It was offside. Or he missed a uh, header right uh, over the bar. I think. Header. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That last 30 minutes, bro. That last 20 minutes. Mm. Insane. But, but inside, defended, defended, defended. That was. Prime vintage Jose. That, there's an, if there's a performance that epitomizes Jose Mourinho throughout his entire career, it's that. It's that. Do you think? Do you think that that performance made Jose say, "You know what? I'm gonna have to start start playing defensive." Because before that, Chelsea, bro, the first in Chelsea, they weren't defensive. L let's be hold, real. Hold on, him. hold let's, on, no, 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 hold let's... on, I'm gonna play. Hold on, I'm gonna play. I tried. I tried. We knew Chelsea parked the bus. I, I tried. I tried. Come I tried. On. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. That was like on, on, on steroids. To be honest, hundred percent. You. you remember his, his quote at the end of the game, and uh, they were like, "What? They brought the sprinklers up." No. And he said they brought the sprinklers up because they had to wash the field of our blood because we left our blood. Hey, Bar Mourinho has the the best quote the, the most of quotes, all, bro. bro he's, no, bro, some uh, one of the cards I think it was to do with when he played Pep and he and, and he beat them with Madrid against Barcelona. We'll, we'll come to it. Mm. He said, uh, the, the reporter said, Oh, you guys had only 10 20 percent uh, possession, but well, you won the game. Joseph said, You know what, you, you can keep the possession, 
but give me the match ball because I won the... Uh, bro, in, insane quotes, bro. Insane quotes. But yeah, he wins, goes to the final, Bayern Munich at Santiago Bernabeu. That should have been, by the way, that, that season, in my opinion... It was destined for us to go to the Champions League final because that season we bought, we bought Ronaldo, yeah, we bought Kaka, yeah. we made the Galactica signings, yeah. and it was in the Bernabeu. It was almost staged. It was you know staged. what happened? You know what happened instead? You booted out Snyder, you booted out Robin, and they're like, "I right, will play the, the we'll play the final in your own stadium." How about that? Hold that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told you, I'll hold it's that. Crazy. <laughs> and that season, Pjanic kicked us out from uh, yeah, bro. Leon, bro. Yeah, Alessandro Mar- uh, Lopez. You remember him? Every time the Rashford, huh? Lissandro Lopez was the first guy to yeah. start doing that celebration. Guess who? Guess who was the manager? Uh, 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 Leon. With Leon. Claude Puel, no? Hey! Hey! hey. What is it? <laughs> Football mastermind, SDS. This guy don't want to see me. This guy don't want to see me, bro. No one wants to see me, bro. Hey, hey, hi, man. Hey, hey, hey. No one wants to see me. Hey, stop Star it. Star player, you don't want to see me, bro. Hey, stop it's going to beat you. Bro. No stop chance. No chance. I reckon, I reckon Stop it's going to get 10 points. 10 points. <laughs> Eric stopped it back. He might. might. Star player, you got that, that Euro. What was it? You got Euro, Euro talk, talk, bro. Hey, that Euro talk. Hey, that do be hitting sometimes, <laughs> bro. <laughs> but yeah, final Bayern Munich. Yeah. Your boy scores two clutch goals. So we do. El Principe. Is that his name? Yeah, Principe. That's his nickname. His nickname. Prince. Yeah, yeah. Chatton. Ch- Ch- him. Ch- that season, yeah, yeah. you think he had a better season than Snyder? The but, Snyder, yeah, I think. But, I think but movies... he wasn't. He wasn't voted. He wasn't. Uh, Selected within the top okay. 30. He wasn't, which is, for me, why it's the biggest robbery in Ballon d'Or history. But look, UEFA forward of the year. There was no UEFA player of the year back then. Milito was UEFA forward of the year. Uh, top scorer, Milito. Serie A player of the year, Milito. Inter player of the year, Milito. Speak. These are all awards. He didn't. It's not my opinion. It's a fact. Speak. But because Schneider happened to be on the most successful Champions League team, and because, let's face it, he had a very good World Cup, but he was a team that went far in the World Cup, like they did with Jorginho, they looked at the, 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 the player. Okay, who intersects with both these teams? He should have won the Ballon d'Or. Guys, there wasn't a day in Schneider's life in 2010 that he was better than Messi. And I don't even believe he was better than Milito. I could even make the argument that Robin that year might have been better than Schneider, bro. Robin for Bayern was filthy that year. But what killed Robin was that miss against Cassius in the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if Robin scored that thing, yeah. the storyline of Robin would have been completely different. 100%, bro. 100%. Robin was on the verge because don't forget, Bayern were playing it, they were playing for a treble in that Champions League. Yeah. Game. So Bayern could have also won a Champions League treble. It was, it was the first the time. World it was Cup. the first time. That, so yeah. we would have been saying Robin should win the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. Snyder for me had a great year and he was key to that team. But Milito was, was for me so the what, star so, of that so team. So what, Snyder hype? Nah, he's a great player. I won't say hype, but Schneider Ballon d'Or hype. Schneider eh. Ballon d'Or hype, bro. Hundred percent. He wins. He celebrates with that. That that, that celebration is hard. Hey, 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 elite. Of course, after the game, he cries with that piece of Haiwan. Matarazzi. Uh, oh, if I speak, fam, two thousand and six. If I speak on him. I think I honestly. If I speak on him. If I speak on Matarazzi, oh. bro. I told you that's the only game I ever cried in football. The World Cup final. Zizou. Bro. I'll tell you why. My, my whole family, they were sporting Zidane, right? Of course, Algeria. And when they lost uh, and Zidane got suspended, it was the end of his career. They started crying. And me, I was what? In 2006. I was eight, nine years. I was nine years old. I saw everyone crying. I was like, I'm going to start crying too, bro. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Hey, he followed the trend. I, I was like, Someone's, something must be said here, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man, honestly, Matarazzi. But hey, Matarazzi was a typical Mourinho player, bro. Like guys who would just go to war for him, bro. Mourinho, I always said he like collected soldiers. And Matarazzi, ooh, Kivu, ooh. Stankovic, uh, Stankovic. Yeah, Chelsea back in the day, uh, Lampard. Guys who would literally like oh. run through a wall for Mourinho. Don't forget the, the, the goat himself, Pandev. Yeah, Pandev as well. Pandev. Yeah, hey, yeah. people forget as well, Balotelli was within that team as yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. He has the Balotelli story. Yeah, you remember the Balotelli story. He goes, of course, to Real Madrid. Uh, we had that drought of about six, seven years of mm. not hitting a quarterfinal. We couldn't taste a quarterfinal. Yeah. It was Arsenal beat us, Roma beat us, Leon beat us, Liverpool beat us. So, so many teams beat us. He comes in, in his first season, he changes the mentality of the team. He made it, uh, a, the first season Champions League semi-final. But a lot of people forget the first two months, he loses the Classico 5-0. He didn't just lose it, bro. He got demolished, bro. Fun fact, I still haven't won luck. I still don't know how. I, I know. I know he scored. I know who scored. I know Jeffrey scored. I know Jeffrey scored. I still don't know how he scored. I literally won that, bro. The moment I saw four, no, I, I, I went to sleep, bro. I went to sleep. I was like, I, I've seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough, bro. I'll, t- I'll tell you how I remember that game. So growing up in the US, right? 
the, the game is typically around 245 for us. So I get home from school, but my dad works. So what we used to do sometimes for these midweek games, we would record it. Uh -huh. So that when my dad comes home, we watch it live together for the first. I, I watch all my, the games with my dad. But that day, I was so itching to watch the El Clasico or like know what was happening. Is I checked my phone at maybe 4 o'clock after 70 minutes Ooh. thinking it was going to be like 1-1, 2-1. One, one, one. I see 4 nil. No. I see 4 nil. No. <laughs> my no. dad comes in, right? We start watching the game. And I'm just waiting for the goals to happen because I know what the score bro, is, bro, right? It's, bro, it's bro. crazy, bro. I feel like that game, bro, yeah. I've never been in more embarrassed. I think that, that's been three games, yeah? That game, the last game against City, last mm. uh, this, season, this season, that first, that that second leg performance, bro, what, 5 no, bro? It wasn't like it was luck. Or it wasn't like it was... Like, like it, it, bro, that was a domination, bro. Mm. From start to yeah. finish, bro. Chavi was moving... Crazy yeah. Iniesta, bro. People forget Messi didn't wasn't score. Messi didn't score, bro. Yeah. David Villa, was, Messi was incredible, too incredible. Long. David yeah. Villa with the yeah. with the curlers, yeah. Pedro. But Messi, that's the game I remember, right? When every time he gets the ball, Pepe is scything at his on ankles him. on him. Ramos is scything, Lasana Diara is scything at his ankles. And the last sight, you might not even see it because you might have turned off the game. <laughs> He's like limping a little, coming off, and he's like walking in front of Ronaldo. And he's yeah, looking, he's, up, he's yeah. looking up. He says five yeah, nil. Yeah. Hey, that's hard, bro. bro. And then Ramos, Ramos at that point, bro, kicked him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Puyo. Puyo, <laughs> but that, that's the thing with Mourinho too, right? He brought they respect back to yes. El Clasico yes. in terms of like, yo, the year before, two years before, Pep was beating Real six two. Comfortably, you guys were their were their bitch, Comfortably. bro. Comfortably. He brought back like, okay, if home, we bro. lose to if we lose to Barca, we're losing like war, like. We're losing, but with blood, uh, with dignity. Yeah, but, but at, at that point, there's no dignity, bro. Five nil, bro. But let's not forget though the Copa del Rey final that year. Co Copa del Rey yeah. final in March, he wins iconic, iconic header by the person that you don't like. Oh, oh it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano, I, I, I love Ronaldo, bro. What do you mean? I don't like him. Uh, I can, hey, 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 hey! You guys know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Yeah, I love Ronaldo. <laughs> That's my team's legend right there, bro. <laughs> that does not sound convincing. He's my team. Man United, one of Man United's biggest ever legends, bro. But nah, CR7, yeah, that yeah. iconic header, Di Maria, that one two with Marcelo. Header, yeah. Adebayor played that fight final, yeah, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is Adebayor generous. number six. <laughs> <laughs> which is for, but then a week after the Champions League semi final, mm. first leg, for me, one of the biggest disgrace of oh. a referee performance I will ever, ever see. Madrid fans kill me, bro, honestly. I, I love when you guys put on this victim act. Like, you guys haven't had many, many cheatings in Champions League. Before. Tell me, tell me a bigger disgrace than that performance. In terms of refereeing? Pepe, red card. Bro, I, I, I saw you guys against Bayern, bro, score, I think, three goals offside. Three times you went offside, three times they allowed it, bro. VAR Madrid. I remember, bro, Vardrid. Vardrid. Vardrid was crazy. <laughs> the Vardrid era. <laughs> the Vardrid era was crazy, bro. <laughs> but that, that era was the, was the weird part. What was it? Uh, what's it, um, they called Barcelona? What, what's that name? Uh, and UEFA, UEFA Lona. It was UEFA Lona versus Vardrid. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Classico. <laughs> chill out. But yeah, of course, red card. And then Jose after the game, I don't know if that was after the first leg or after the second leg. He mm. comes out saying, "Pep won a Champions League. That would be that would be. Yeah. I'll be ashamed. <laughs> I'll be ashamed of winning." And then and then Pep came back, bro. That that that's bro. when that's when the rivalry started. Let I mean, me tell you this: I think Mourinho, no manager has ever managed to get under Pep's skin the way Jose. This cover is crazy. Faisal, the that, <laughs> that is that, that's crazy. Faisal, no, Faisal didn't write the Declaration of Independence. Faisal created the pen. Fa Faisal is the creator of the pen, Bruh. and then they took the pen to, to create the. That is crazy. <laughs> Bro, man said, come on, we're guilty too. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> but, but, bro, Mourinho, you see Pep with, with club these days, and like ever since it's not a rivalry. I honestly think that's what Pep is like. But no manager ever got under his skin the yes. way Jose did. Or Jose knew. In fact, there's this interview, you guys have to, to look it up, where Pep loses his shit in the interview. He's yeah. like, in this room, Jose is the king. Yes. But yeah. we'll see who's the king yeah, outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he lost his head, lost, bro. Lost. Bro, his head was gone. Yeah. And that's why, bro, this whole club, Pep, hugging before the game, smiling. Bro, yeah. mid-game, yeah. they're out here shaking hands, yeah. bro. They're dabbing smiling. each other up. Forget about it. <laughs> dabbing, bro. <laughs> dabbing, bro. Mid-game. Mid-game, bro. Bro, where was the days where people were fighting? Yeah. Mourinho poking Tito's eye. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Like, hey. Poking, poking his eye, bro. Where, where, where's those days, bro? I don't think we'll ever see rivalry like that. To be honest with you, 
every game literally felt like 11 men on either side going towards that three years from 2000 and, 2010 to 2013 bro both teams hate each other yeah. I, ironically enough Spain won the World Cup 2010. Yeah. It was always crazy. I always thought it was crazy how they managed to just like put that aside and then exactly and people win, yeah. and, and people made cheeky remarks towards England of not doing the yeah, same. Yeah, no, that's exactly where I think about it because like Chelsea versus United. Okay, it's a big rivalry. It's nothing compared to the Barca Arsenal, and Real. Liverpool. Yeah, 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 exactly. Puyol and Ramos went from doing that to <laughs> to, <laughs> to playing winning trophies <laughs> together. <laughs> literally, bro. Yeah, literally, crazy. Ramos right yeah. back era. But yeah, that season, of course, we finished second. Mm. We win Cup of the Ray. Yeah, but I still, for me. I still find that season successful as a Madrid fan. The reason why, we now know how to beat Barcelona. We, the uh, winning it's, it's, about, it's about the steps to success, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, Giannis! That's Giannis. five, that's five no. Hey, that's a step to success. <laughs> Bro, four months after, we beat them in the company ring. Hey, Giannis, you were cooking. Hey, hey, Giannis deserves respect, man. You know, I made fun of him. I made, crazy. I made fun of Giannis. Giannis, I wasn't familiar with your game. I'm telling you, that was a step to success. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, because the second season, we had the greatest La Liga yeah. season of all time. I still think so. You're like, to this day, you think it's... I don't, I don't disagree or agree, but what do you think? Honestly, I feel like that is... Cool. 11, 12... You know, let me ask you this question. Mm. 11, 12 Madrid. Okay. 16, 17 Madrid. Last season in Madrid. What... What's the most scariest Madrid in your opinion? The scariest. Scary. I think last, last year last year is last, up. to be honest with you. Like the, okay. the last one is last because it was just literally for me, it was literally Benzema Vinicius were unplayable, cool. but you guys tested your luck. 16, 17, the depth was insane, bro. Honestly, like, bro, it, and, and you had Ronaldo really at a point where, like, in the Champions League, especially everything he touches turns to gold. But Facts. that 11 12, it was 11 12, right? Yeah, 11 12. The counterattack between Ronaldo, Ozil, Di Benzema, Maria. Di Maria, Higuain off the bench at times, it was just devastating, bro. Honestly, some of the goals, and I think that's the, t- the, the team with the most goals scored in the league history, right? over 100. Ever. They Those were just they were just point. crazy, bro. Honestly, when that team got running, it was oh, like a basketball team, bro. 100%. It is like one end to the other, bro. The game, I remember the Ajax goal. That's the anything. game, yes. The yes. Ajax goal were from one side of the pitch. I think Benzema even starts to move. To then the other side of the pitch and he gets the bicycle. Quick, a quick one two between Ozil and Kaka. Goes, uh, goes to the right hand side. Ronaldo to the left hand side. Quick cross to Benzema. Ronaldo finishes. And Ronaldo at that point too, right? Of course he was still scoring 50, 60 goals, but he still had like the explosiveness the yes, that he yes, could rip. Yes, the, yes, that was really Ronaldo for me between in that kind of period between I would say like 08 to like 2012, 13. 13 before the he, knee injury. Yeah, he was still Ronaldo where bro, he'll score you 50 goals, but hey, on the wing, he's killing you. 100 percent Yeah. Bro, the knee injury, in my opinion, ruined him, but at the same time. What made him? I think the first season of, of Mourinho, he basically told Ronaldo, "Listen, this whole tr- trickery, the, the, the skills, it's mm. not going to win you anything. It's not going to yeah. win your games. How about now you become an actual goal scorer? Yeah. Eleven, twelve. He had his most highest season at that point. Yeah. We win the La Liga. The the game at New Camp at Barcelona, one one. Mesut Ozil, iconic assist. Ronaldo. Bro, Carmel. honestly, even as a Messi fan, like, those days." It's the best celebration. I always say about El Clasicos, right? El Clasico, especially those days, was so crazy because forget about Real and Barca fans. Everyone on the planet stops what they're doing for 90 minutes and they decide, even though they might not have ever seen the Liga for the, re- the whole season, for they one game, they're like, who do I who do I support? Yeah. Barca or Real? And for me, as a Messi fan, it was always Barca for me. This, everyone knows when Ronaldo left for United for Real Madrid, that's where the villain work in me started. So I was always like Messi. And Barca, I, I liked watching them play. But bro... Even as a big Messi fan, that celebration from Ronaldo, it was more than just the game. It was like, okay, I'm here. Because people forget that Ronaldo, his first few El Clasicos, right? It was a little shaky, yeah. bro. He wasn't yeah. delivering really. Yeah. Like Ronaldo in the big games, like it, it finally got to a point where like, okay, he stepped up. But that game was one of the first for me where it's like, okay, Ronaldo is here to be held accountable Facts. now, bro. This is Facts. Ronaldo, man. And yeah. people, a lot of people forget, bro, when before we head into that game. We were we had a big lead in La Liga. Mm. That lead became smaller and smaller yeah, and smaller. So that 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 game, if Barca won, La Liga would have been completely yeah. wide. But that, of course, after the game, La Liga was finished. Not, not it was basically it, it, honest, it was basically yeah. finished. But that one one, and then that that pass from Ozil, and then he's shut. Hey hey, he's silent. 
New Camp completely. For me, for that me, for me, bro, it, bro, it's a much better celebration than his. Than his. That's true. That's true. It was like overplayed. Now he did it so many times. It's iconic now. But like, it's iconic. The fact that he did it, like, it was like, yo, this, the, the whole the camp was shush, man. Like, I, I'm here, bro. Like, <laughs> that's a bro, crazy, bro, hard, crazy. Man. Wins La Liga. Yeah. Of course, Copa Ray, we don't win it. Champions League. That's Jose's. That. Don't get me started, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that I swear to God, I still feel Jose. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. You guys can agree, disagree. In my opinion, that should have been the trophy that made Jose Mourinho. He should have been the man to bring La Decima back home. Not Ancelotti, yeah. not Zidane, <laughs> not anyone else. That season, bro. It was yeah. destined for us, bro. That final should have been classical final. I mean, I always say the biggest tragedy in football since I started watching is the fact that we never got no classical yes, final. Get, get my man some tissues. <laughs> <laughs> I always say, right, the, 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 the biggest tragedy in football since I started watching is the fact that we never got a El Clasico final between yeah. Ronaldo and Messi. Like yeah. There were so many times it could have happened. Like, was that Kobe and, and, and LeBron? Yeah, honestly. But it's worse, to be honest, because for me, there was like a bigger period where you could have had it. Like 14-15, it should have been the El Clasico yes. final. 11-12, you could argue that the, the two teams, the, the, the two wrong teams made it to the final in Chelsea and Bayern. Chelsea and Bayern. Real, and United, uh, Real and Barca were the two top teams on the planet. Facts, bro. And it would have been crazy, man. Pep, Pep basically his last season there. But yeah, man, I, I don't obviously hold as much emotion to it as you. But if you were to pick two, two players to score a penalty from that Real Madrid team, it would have been Ronaldo and it would have been Kaka, man. And for them to miss it the way they did, crazy. Stop Ramos, it. he sent it to the, I remember the Facebook memes those days. Oh. Ramos sending it to the sky, bro. Hey, man. It's not even that, bro. Like We, first, we, we of course, lose the first leg. Mm. We come back to the second leg. Santiago Bernal, Ronaldo scores the first goal quickly. Yeah, of course. I think we went two, two goals. Quick. Two yeah, goals. Yeah, yeah. Also, also assist. Yeah. Pepe, I don't know why. That That's why a lot of people say Pepe, Pepe, Pepe. I, I love Pepe, but he had some... It's like Gabriel with Arsenal. Yeah, rash so moments. many yeah, he's bozo. Rash, yeah. Bro, he he pulls. Uh, I think it was Mario Gomez at that point. Pulls Mario Gomez. Robin scores the penalty. Right? Yeah. Second half, so many chances. This score. Mm. Extra time. The bro, the one I remember one moment in that extra time. And if Madrid fans, the real Madrid fans, would know this, second half of extra time. A cross comes in. Marcelo intercepts it. Yeah. Goes past one person. Goes past two people. Three people. Four people. He makes a turn. Looks at Ronaldo. Makes an, an exceptional pass to Ronaldo. Gonzalo Higuain was in an offside position. Wow. He he not makes it. He he not makes. But he was already in offside position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, of course, the lineman at that point. I don't yeah, know. Even like making an attempt, basically. Yeah. To it. yeah to interfere with the play. Bro, that pass of Ronaldo wasn't offside. If Ronaldo had that pass, hat it would have been one on one. Yeah. Hat trick final. Gonzalo Higuain literally does not make the pass. I have to ask about Higuain. What, what's your thoughts on him before we continue on Mourinho? Because I, I think I think he has so many big moment misses, right? Like for Argentina especially. That I feel twice. like yeah, three times, honestly. Copa, uh, tw twice or Copa? Yeah, twice and Copa won in the World Cup final. But he was also such a great goal scorer. Hundred percent. Yeah. Right. He's just not clutch. Like, you can't rely on him. Not clutch yeah. at all. His early Madrid days, very clutch. That six, that mm. six oh six. That, that people can say, "Damn, no, yeah. that's not that damn." Come on, bro. Damn. Hey. But oh <laughs> six, oh seven. You're getting up there. <laughs> I can't have my birthday's next month as well. I'm getting old, old. Uh, birthday turning what? Huh? Birthday turning what age? <laughs> I prefer not to speak. Damn. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> but nah, it's early. It's early. Right, a lot of people say, damn, crazy. But nah, it's early Madrid days, mm -hmm. 06, 07. People forget that Espanol moment, that Espanol moment, that uh, Tomozado moment that happened in Barcelona. He Higuain was a big moment of that. He scored yeah. the last couple of games. <laughs> of course, oh, a lot of people going to say, what happened against that Bayern game? I disagree. 08, 09. No, 09. 09, 010, the first season Galactica where we brought Ronaldo, Kaka, and everything. He was your best. He was your top scorer. He was a top scorer, yeah. but but the reason why people are harsh on him against Leon yeah, at yeah, home, I remember. missed so chances. many chances, bro. Benzema didn't start. That his first yeah. season didn't start. Raul yeah. didn't start. So many chances, but I feel like it's a 50 50. I feel like his best moment didn't come in Madrid. I feel like it came in Napoli. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Napoli was came at Juve yeah. first two yeah, seasons. Yeah, but Napoli was really the peak. I agree. Peak, yeah. peak. He had well, at one point. I think he had like thirty-six goals. 
mm. 11, 12 assists, insane season. But that, bro, that game should have been us. We go to the penalties, Ronaldo misses. Mourinho on his knees. Oh, after the Kaka miss, he yeah. went on his, I went on my knees. Bro, I swear <laughs> to... <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. You got me still. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually went on my knees. <laughs> I actually did, bro. HD. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> well, uh, bro, that game, it was my only moment of, of, of tears. Yeah. Like, you, like you said, you cried in 2006. That was your... That, that was when I actually, the first time I ever cried about football. Because that yeah. game should have been that's that should have destined destined to be a, a La Decima. Mm. It, it didn't come home the following season. I feel like the worst season out of the three. La Liga, let's forget about it. We we lost that completely. Couple of really lost that completely. Yeah, against Atletico, by the way, you lost it. That's a big thing, right? That was, and you guys had like a you guys basically had a, a dynasty against them, bro. You were cooking them. Facts. Yeah. Champions League. That 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 uh, I hate I hey, hate bro, that. Bro, talk moment. about misses in the second leg. Ozil and uh, who was it? Was it Benzema or Higuain? <sighs> Benzema, Higu- Benzema and Higuain. And Ozil missed the, the big chance. Oh, Ozil, bro, Ozil first off. Oh, oh, someone someone said a hot take in my last video. Yeah. Let's see if you agree. He said. I think I, I think I I remember what, it was about Ozil, right? Ozil. Say he, it again. He said Masoud Ozil was a failure at Madrid. No, I wouldn't say so. What do you think, bro? You guys signed him for what? How much from uh, from Werder Bremen? The uh, expectation... 20, 25, 30? I think it was less than 25, 30, bro. I don't think it's as much as that. You guys kind of bought him a great World Cup, but like World he, Cup, was, yeah. he was a kid from Werder Bremen, and he comes in and basically destroys every assist record. He's, huh? he, yeah. he's the, the best uh, creator for Ronaldo. He's one of the best players on the team. I wouldn't say it's a, it's a failure. I think this is one of those ones where people see like what trophies did they win at the end of their career. Oh, exactly. he won the Champions League. But, bro, Ozil, when you talk about... Ozil's career, the best point in his career for me came at Real Madrid. So, no, I wouldn't say it's a failure, bro. Come on. If, if failure is whether you win the Champions League or not, then maybe. But I don't view football. I agree. Like I agree. But then again, that game. Yeah, it's a big it's a big. That miss, game, yeah. big miss. Of course, he left. We changed the formation from a 4-2-3-1 mm. to 4 4 3 Speaking of Jose, he loses that game. And then, of course, the following season, says goodbye. Yeah. He goes home to Chelsea. Yeah. So, last season, you know, how, what, yeah. you saw what he did at Chelsea. The first says, season, no, the first season wasn't that, uh, isn't that. You don't remember the first season. The first season is when he comes in and says, We're the little horse that still needs milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah, he, he has Demba Bye, yeah, 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 yeah. Eto up front and Fernando Torres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that season where he celebrated Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That... And basically, he came third that year. But that's the season with Chelsea. This is without Costa and everything. Hazard is still like a little younger. I think they still had Mata at this point, too. First, he, he, last season, yeah, he, he basically yeah. goes and um, he beats Liverpool, I think, home and away. He beats Manchester City home and away. He beats the, the top two teams home and away, but it's he loses to Sunderland at home. I think he, that's the year his, his home record broke finally. It broke. He lost to Villa. He lost these like smaller games. Mm. This is when he realized, yo, this team is really good, but I need like a new core. The next season brings back Courtois from Atletico. He's my goalkeeper. Uh, Yo, Costa, me. that's my guy. John Terry, I'm gonna bring you back in the fold. No, this is when he told him. He, John Terry started every single game for, for Chelsea. That, that second season, season. Yeah, 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 insane. He started every and Benitez had tried getting, getting rid of him. He yeah. brings in Cesc Fabregas. He brought in Matic from uh, back to Chelsea the January before. Ooh. He builds a super strong team, and at the core of it is your guy. Well, that's crazy. Uh, look, look at this. He's celebrating his 65th birthday. That is crazy. He's <laughs> his 65th birthday. Bro, you try to tell me. I would, I would never. You try, you try to tell me. Personally, I'm, I would never. I'm young and a fool. Damn, he's saying you're crazy. Only... <laughs> hey, Fuad don't deserve this, bro. Fuad's a good dude, bro. He's a good but dude. But I'm saying, at the, at the heart of it, is your guy, Eddie. 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 Hey, by the way, your intro to the last video. Eddie Nazar. Eddie. Eddie. Eddie Nazar. Oh. It killed me, man. But no, he. This was Hazard, bro. People talk about Sesk and and Diego Costa combo. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Elite. But that Eden season, yeah. bro. No one is talking about it. A lot of people talk about his Conte season, yeah. his last season in Chelsea. No one talks about that specific Eden. You saw, you saw like the numbers I put up right in the second half of the season, where like the goals started drying second, up. Yeah, and it was he one came. nils. It was bro. Goal assist, goal assist, goal assist, goal assist. Hazard, bro. It's Hazard show. He was the Player of the Year. Wins the Champions League. At Chelsea. No, sorry. Where's the, where's where's the, the Premier League? League? Yeah, where's the double too? Carabao, or what is it? Capital Cup? Uh, well, that's, uh, well, now... Mourinho, though, was the guy who like really brought importance to that cup, though, bro. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, 100%. Yeah, the first trophy he won at Chelsea, the first time was the League Cup. First trophy he won at Chelsea, the second time was the League Cup. 
goes uh, get sacked yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. yeah, again. This one was fairly, to be fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was like 15. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, goes to uh, United. Chat, chat to me. Uh, okay. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Were you happy when he got him? Of course. I'm t- I love Mourinho, man. I was over the moon. And, and I'm very vocal with my thoughts on United. You know this. Everyone in the comment section knows this. I don't pull any punches. Ali, I was very vocal. Like, I did not like Ali. Mourinho, in my opinion, you're going to talk about the season where he won three trophies. Fair enough. But Trouble, overall, baby. Over, <laughs> overall, his time at United for me was, was disappointing. But I never once tweeted, stated, expressed Mourinho out, bro. I was so desperate for this guy to succeed at United that I literally kept it all in. I was like, yo, the football is horrible. We're not winning games. But I have faith that he's going to bring it back. He never did, man. But honestly, like, I, I would do it all over again. Mourinho so, at my club was like, yo, it's crazy. What, what, in, what in your opinion, went wrong? I is, think, it, is it the players? The management? I mean, his with, tactics? With these, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a whole lot of stuff, to be honest with you. I think United, of course, the way they were being run, it, it's tough for any manager to really succeed over there. But I think, A, the players that he signed, like, I think some of his signings were really bad, to be honest with you. Like, he bought in Bailly the first season. The next season, he brought in Lindelof. And in the third season, he wanted to buy Alderweireld. Well, bro, you just spent $60 mm, million on center mm. backs, and you had Smalling Jones, who you played with Rojo. You can't have everything, bro. Like, at some point, you have to deal with what you have. But in my opinion, the reason why it failed at United and the reason why, for me, it, it hasn't really worked out with jo- uh, Jose in the, this last decade, to be honest, mm-hmm. with you, which we're going to talk about. Adaptation. People always, I don't think it's adaptation completely. Everyone says tactics and like he's a dinosaur. I think, okay, yeah, his tactics are not as like modern as mm-hmm. Pep's, for example. But I think the biggest thing that's let Jose down this last decade is the way players are. I think players now are, are much more like celebrities and like they yeah. they have uh more of egos and they're like yeah. they're, they're on on papers and stuff like that they're on social media and stuff like that i don't think you can talk to players the same way you could 10 years ago and something that was so big about jose was the way he would inspire his players he had a very unique man management sp- style where basically he'd put you against the wall bro he'd, he'd basically be like are you with me or are you against me and i'm going to test out how much you're willing to fight for me that you're not and, 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 and in ways that I'll make you uncomfortable, to be honest with you. Mm. Like, you might think I hate you. A guy like Ozil, for example, he was very strict with him, but Ozil will even say, I came out of it alive. Because of it. But, I, but the way you could talk to players like Stankovic, Cambiasso, Kedira, you, can, men, you can't bro. talk to players like Deli Ali or Paul Pogba or Martial the same way that you could 10 years ago. Facts. And I think it's like the mentality of the modern day player is what's let down Jose a little bit, in my opinion. When do you think that started, though? Because I feel like when when was it where there was the era of the wages increasing completely out of nowhere? I think the Gareth Bale uh, signing changed football completely. Ronaldo, mm-hmm. yes, the 07, 08. But at that time, bro, when Ronaldo got signed to Madrid at 90 million, I would say, that was the first time, that was the highest yeah, record. It's, it's, yeah. The season off, no one saw that. But then the 13, 14, the Gareth Bale signing, mm. over 100 mil, that's when the sound started floating. The season after Dembele, yeah. then it was Neymar, then it was uh, Griezmann, then uh, the signing. Do you think following that signing, money started coming in? And bro, you see players are sensitivity, yeah. the mentality changed completely. I just, I just, it might have something to do with that. I don't know when the exact point was, but I just think like it's, 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 it's along the years. There wasn't one moment where it started, but I just think the more players became like they're expressive on like social media and stuff like that. Players are not like you don't see guys like well. Roy Keane, for example, anymore. No, like no, no, no. Sergio Ramos is. You have a lot more guys. Like, in fact, you don't look, see many like diehard captains anymore, too, bro. I think football in general has kind of moved past that stage, but I think that's really what's hurt Mourinho a lot. And I feel like Jose at United, yeah, in terms of entertainment standpoint, he had the best press conferences at United than he had with any other team. People, this guy said it. Football heritage. heritage. <laughs> he lost to Sevilla recently, by the way. That's a football heritage that. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah! There you go. No one wanted to talk about that. Huh? I was gonna leave it because me, I'll never slander Jose like that. But hey, that was a cheeky press conference for me. To be honest with you, he was spitting though. He was, but bro, there's no amount of football heritage that can excuse United scoring one goal over 180 minutes against Sevilla, bro. Uh, Th- there's nothing that it can, can explain that, bro. The season before that, Sevilla had lost to Leicester in the Champions League. They were spitting. Where's the football heritage between Leicester and Sevilla? I hate that. I hate Come that. on, bro. I, hate that. I call that listen. But he made you. He made. He made it. He, he made you forget all about the result and yeah. the fact that you lost against Sevilla. But that, that's what Jose was so good at. Jose was, Jose was the best at going into press conferences, making it all about himself and deflecting the blame from his own players. That, that was what he was best. You could argue at the same time too. Sometimes he'll throw a player under the bus. Fair enough. But he was the best at coming out in press conferences, and you come out of it 
only talking about Jose. And you don't talk about uh, Kadira's bad game Jose, or Di Maria's yeah. bad game. It's all about Jose. Well, he did that, bro. I feel like he, he put players within the dressing room. I feel like he did it because of the mentality. Again, you mentioned it. At, at that time, bro, when he spoke badly about Ozil, Ozil next game performs. Ramos. Uh, I think uh, you, uh, Eto'o as well at one yeah, point. Yeah. Zlatan. Bro, nowadays, for the United players, the Pogba moment. Yeah. I still feel like the Pogba moment is just... Why would you go to Pogba? Pogba, isn't that that reaction where, yeah. where he should... That's, that's the thing with Jose, right? Jo- jo- Jose, when it comes to the end of his tenure, basically, like when shit hits the fan... Third season. Everyone, everyone is... Hey, you're all coming down with me, bro. If I'm going down, y'all are all coming down with me. Third bro. season, Jose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Martial was the biggest one for me between Mourinho and Martial. Like, Rashford as well, towards the end of his Yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, it became... Like, Shaw. Shaw was actually the worst. Shaw's Luke Shaw was the worst in terms of like Mourinho versus a player. For sure, it was who who, uh, who 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 um, shined during the in your opinion? At United yeah. uh, under Mourinho. Move Jose Herrera. Uh, Herrera, yeah, definitely. Because Herrera is again a player that like bro, he'll, he's a he's a warrior, warrior out there. He was Mourinho's pit bull, bro. He sent him basically on hazard. Has- hey, go follow him like your shadow. Proper dog. Pogba still had some really good moments under Mourinho. I have bro, to first say. season Pogba was first season, was very second good. season he was very good as well too. Uh, Zlatan, of course, in, in his first season, even though I, I have mixed feelings about that season. Like, look, there were two, hot, final, two final goals. Yeah, De Gea for me was the best under Mourinho. Oh. I mean, 17 18, I give the, our second place finish almost to him because De Gea saved us Ooh. that season. But, um, no, there were good moments under, under Mourinho. Dam- people say Damian. I wasn't a big Darmian fan. I think he's average, so I, I can't speak too much on Darmian. But there were definitely high. Oh, Matt, Matt, who was his name? Valencia. Valencia, the first season I write back. I think this is a great shout. Mata. Mata was a player that. At Chelsea, Mourinho completely fell out with completely, and then when he came to United, yes, with Mata there, it was almost like, oh, I feel so bad for Mata. Like he can't get away from this Part guy. Two. But no, Mourinho found a role for Mata, and Mata scored big goals for Chelsea. Uh, Fellaini, Fellaini oh, was good under, under Mourinho. That, that, yeah. <laughs> that reward football. Fellaini had good. <laughs> Fellaini had good moments under Mourinho. No, Valencia is a good one though. Valencia, he turned him into like one of the best right backs in the country for sure. Mm. After that, of course, get sacked yeah. yet again. Goes. I, by, by the way, I still feel like that is. Is his biggest L I've ever seen. Which one? After that, after you die, where did he go to? Go to Spurs. Spurs. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he should he should have waited. Yeah, definitely. Take it, take it, like take a pep, like take a page out of Pep's yeah. book. Just you know what? Just take a break. Wait for the right chance. Wait, right for the right uh, vacancy, and then mm-hmm. take it. Why would you rush into football? To be fair though, the first six months of Spurs. Bro, Spurs was doing good, bro. Spurs in his second season, if you remember, at one point they were first. November, bro, yeah. and November that they game were against, first. Uh, against Liverpool. At, at Liverpool, uh, he beat um, City. Yeah, he beat City. But at November, of course, they won. I think two 0 Son, Son was Son. Son. Was crazy. Son was going. That was yeah. Son. Son. <laughs> player. So he had Kane. He had. I think he gave Kane his best season in terms of goals assists. Like he had him twenty twenty or something. Or it wasn't twenty twenty, but it was like. He led the league and led the league in scoring, but man, look at my assist. Look like <laughs> yeah, Kane, <laughs> yeah, Kane, <laughs> diving that. <laughs> What's that, LeBron? Cool? He's like, and I'm a pass for his guy. <laughs> yeah, By Kane, the way, guys, yeah, that's Kane, a Drake. Yeah, hey, that's Kane, a... Kane diving, bro. <laughs> hey, that's a Drake ball. Just, just. I got on Twitter. Yeah, no, no, no. He's got the clowns, bro. But not yeah, Kane. Hey, by the way, if you know Drake, if you if you're a true Drake fan. Tell me what song yeah, that is. Leave the league and yeah, score yeah. him, man. But look at my assist. Let me know. If you're a real Drake fan, what's, what's that song? But yeah, yeah of yeah. course. Uh, second season, you know how it is. You know yeah. how it turned out to be. Yeah. Get sacked before a cup final. That's ridiculous. I'm so sorry. It's not even like they had, like, I don't even know. It's not like they had uh, Sir Alex waiting. They had Ryan, uh, Ryan Mason. Ryan Mason, <laughs> Ryan Mason, bro. And that's, get, a, that's a piss thing. The biggest, the biggest L. Of course, get sacked, waits, and then goes, in my opinion... I look at it as a success. He goes to Roma, mm. an environment which he was hoping for. Bro, Roma fans, they adore him. Yeah. At Roma, he's literally their, their stuff. For, I'm not yeah, say. I know what you're saying. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. He's literally... Yeah, they their, idolize him. Yeah, 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 they yeah. idolize him, bro. And he is... First season, wins Roma, the first trophy since, I think, 2007, if I read that correctly. Yeah. First ever European trophy. Yeah. Second season, so shame. If... Oh, if if he had just won the Europa League, yeah. back-to-back Europa League. It would have been crazy. It would have been crazy. But that's, again, Roma is like a perfect environment for, for Jose, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because Jose loves underdogs. Like He, he loves basically like making a, a siege mentality, us against the world. If you're not with us, you're yes. against us. And Roma is like a small team. Not small. I don't want to say small team. But it's a team that really hasn't been doing much in Europe and in Serie A in the last few years. There's no expectations. But it's mm-hmm. like, okay. We're the underdogs. Everyone doesn't believe in us. I'm going to bring us back up to this level. That's what Jose like cooks in. Right? That's his ideal scenario. Absolutely. So we, we've now talking about a quick summary of Jose's career. Yeah. 
Where do you think his best stint at what team? His most successful, most memorable stint of all the teams he was at? You guys as well in the comments? Chelsea, I would say. I would say Chelsea. First, first one or second yeah, one? Yeah, first one. Uh, yeah, I would say Chelsea. That Chelsea team is what I think of Jose Mourinho. When I, when I think of Jose, what's a Jose team? I think of that Chelsea team. Because again, leaders, real men, guys who uh, soldiers basically, like strong athletes, but still could like beat you technically. I think of that Chelsea team, bro. And I'll tell you what, there's not a player that I think of more of Jose Mourinho than Drogba. Like that Chelsea team for me is yeah. Jose Mourinho, bro. Lampard. Yeah. Lampard. That's when Lampard yeah, started yeah. becoming the yeah. Lampard he yeah. is. John Terry. John Terry yeah. Czech. Yeah. That Chelsea Insane. team for me is Jose. So so is that prime Jose in your opinion? Yeah, I would say so, to be honest with you. That that period with Jose, right? It felt like he was invincible. Like it, it, when he came to the Premier League, it was Wenger versus Fergie, Wenger versus Fergie. They were both like what 67 years old. Ooh. Not at that point. They were they were getting up there though. Ooh. And this young guy. Who comes in with this arrogance? He immediately in his first press conference says, "I'm the special one." He comes up winning the Champions League. Wenger had never done that. Good looking as well. Yeah, of course, very good looking. He comes in, bro, and he basically just upsets the apple cart, upsets the established order, wins Premier League in his first. Like it felt like it was just different, bro. Yeah. It felt like yo, Fergie had to reinvent himself. Wenger, I don't think ever recovered from it. It felt different, bro. Hundred percent. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I think I just remembered. Uh, Anton Chelsea played to, uh, played against each other when when Jose came back yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. with Inter. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, literally, Eto'o yeah, yeah, yeah. literally just just came to my head. Cool. So, in your opinion, that's prime vintage Jose. Yeah. His best Jose. What about you? You're in Real. I know you. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I, I think Real. He was fortunate. You know what? You know what? You know what? That I think that that takes it perfectly to the second segment of this live stream. Mm. I'm gonna let you go with the first decade of Jose. Why don't we go position for position? Right, cool. I name my goalkeeper, you name your goalkeeper. So explain to them who's going to have what right, Guys, listen. We are the second segment. We gave a quick summary about the way, Jersey. Quick uh, exclusive. Marcus Thuram has just signed for Inter Milan. Yeah. Thuram is an Inter Milan player. Bruh. That's a quick... Oh, that's Fabrizio. Yeah. Fabrizio. Fabrizio. Fabrizio, man. <laughs> Arabic, man. Arabic. Fabrizio. That's, that's not Arabic. That's, you can't pronounce names, bro. It's a Fabrizio. Yeah, yeah, people, people, people said like... Uh, people said that I thought it was a Carragher on the... Uh, <laughs> You're trying to say the goalkeeper. They don't know that, bro. <laughs> that, that's a Fabrizio. <laughs> that's crazy. Fabrizio. Come on, man. Get some Italian... You know, say, say it? Fabrizio. That's what I said. Fab, no, you said Fabrizio. <laughs> Fabrizio. <laughs> potato, potato, man. Same, same thing, man. Listen, Crazy. the second segment is basically which started 11 is the best. Combined 11 mm. of the first decade of Jose and the second decade of Jose. Mm. The first decade, of course, includes the teams like Porto, Chelsea, first stint, and Inter, Inter Milan. Second stint is Real, second Chelsea stint, and United, Inter, uh, Spurs, and of course, Roma. Roma. I would take the second segment. I'll okay. be fair. I'll be fair. You're the one who wanted it. Don't say you're fit. You wanted Real. <laughs> you wanted Real. I wanted Inter. It works out. Bro. All right, cool. So you take the first thing. Yeah. I take the second. You want to go position by position. All right, cool. Okay. Goal and you keeper. guys as well. You get guys involved. join. Involved. Yeah, get involved. Goalkeeper. This one is easy for me, bro. Is it yeah. Czech? Is it Julio Cesar? Cesar was, was cold. Or is it Nuno Gomez? Oh, no, Gomez hype, bro. <laughs> Give me Petr Czech, bro. And honestly, I think if we were to do a combined 11 of the two, if you want to do that after, we can. I think it would still be Czech, bro. It's the combined 11, straight away. You want to do combined 11, then? Straight away. Okay. Czech is, is the best goalkeeper that Mourinho has ever had, bro. Czech, again, I started watching football in 06, so I actually missed the first two years of Czech uh, under Mourinho. But, bro, Czech in that period, right, mid to late 2000s, I believe there were a lot of really good goalkeepers. Your guy, Iker, uh, Buffon, of course, Van der Sar. But I thought Czech was the best of all of them, bro. I awesome. thought I thought Czech for the, the like 2004 to like 2009, 2010 maybe was the best goalkeeper in the world. Where do you have him uh, all time? High, high, bro. Give me give me your, your top three goalkeepers of all time. I think Neuer is the best. I agree. Uh, Buffon, I, I would probably put second in terms of what I've seen. I, I don't Gigi. know about Yashin and, and them men, but I put Gigi that's second. A, that's few days. Yeah, that's 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 few <laughs> Hey, <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. Big up, man. Big up. I got I got Buffon second, and then third. I think you can go uh, numerous ways. I think your guy has a case. Iker has a case. 
But I think check check in terms of peak, Check's peak was crazy, bro. This guy, and like this is even before the helmet. Before the helmet, he was even more cracked, bro. But the helmet almost gave him like he was like Darth Vader in gold, bro. 100%. Yeah, Check was crazy. So I have him as the best goalkeeper in Mourinho's coach. I kind of have to agree. I think the only one that you could say from Madrid, I you know what, as as hot take as it is, I feel like in terms of his second stint, I feel like uh, De Gea. Mm. As arguably Jose's best goalkeeper in the second day. He was he was good, yeah, yeah. Because people forget that Cassius era, bro. Like yeah, he fell, he, fu- he fell out it's with true, him. It's true, it's true. He started Adam, bro. <laughs> it was Diego Lopez. He's and, the one who brought him. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and then it was yeah, Diego Lopez. Yeah. Mm. And then of course he went by, by big up Diego Lopez. That performance against Man United. Yeah, and, bro. Hey, that's that, so- that was a, that was a, a masterclass, and especially after De Gea, he, was, he cooked in the Burner Bay. By the way, uh, I was talking to Abs about it. Yeah, the second leg, it was Abs. It was Abs. And Robbery. Oh, not Robbery, again, bro. Man. Not again. They're gonna pretend that that Nanny like basically put a hole through Arvalo's chest or something like that. Why would you? Why would, a high foot. Bro. He was going to control the ball, bro. His eyes were on the ball. So what? So what? So what? So Nigel, Nigel De Jong's red. Uh, no, uh, no. Alonso got the ball, and then De Jong came thirty seconds later, chesting him in. Nani got the ball, and Arbeloa's chest was just there, bro. Why is Nani not looking at the ball? He was looking at the ball. He wasn't looking at Arbeloa. No, no. Yeah, but why is he not looking at his man though? Wait, he's supposed to have one eye here, one eye there, bro. He's what cross-eyed? But Arbeloa's smart. That was that was a tactical foul. A tactical foul. That was. A, 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 I, I actually. Then there is tactical foul. Tactical foul not from Nani. No, 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 from Arbolo. So Arbolo positioned his body. As he well. knew the moment he, he gets the ball. It was just a freak accident, bro. Well, Honestly, that, it should have been a yellow. Well, that's, that's, that's like players when 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 the ball goes high. That's yeah. like players just putting their head because they know. So let me ask you this: If Ronaldo is bicycle kick against the Juventus, uh, hold on. No, let me say this: If if who was Barzagli. it? Barzagli. No, it wasn't. I think it was Decilio. No, no, it was Barzagli. Should, it was not Barzagli. Who put his Barzagli head was next to him. I'm telling you, the guy who tried putting his head in. Barzagli. I think it was Decilio, bro. Well, the city wasn't even there, bro. Barzagli was Hold there. Hold on. I'm pretty sure if I look it up. But hey, it comments. It was let, Bar- let us know, bro. Hold on. I'm almost positive. It was, it was, it, I, I'm, I'm almost sure it's not uh, Barzagli. But hold on. Ronaldo bicycle kick. I think it was Decilio. Barzagli, bro. It's Decilio, bro. Come on. Hold up. Zola? Come on, bro. Oh, shit. You're first, bro. Bro, come on, oh, man. But, but that's Barzagli. <laughs> No, it's not. No, no, no. no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's like Bentancourt, bro. Hold, no, on. No, no, no. hold on, hold on. Uh, we got to go. I don't think Barzagli is in this picture, bro. It was Faisal, not Barzagli. That's crazy. It's Asamoah. Like, go. Barzagli is not in this picture, bro. bro, bro. This is Bentancourt, man. We got to the goal itself, but Barzagli was on the pitch. <laughs> no, okay, but you can admit it's Decilia, right? It, it is. It's okay, it's there you go. Barzagli hype, bro. Fake <laughs> facts, Faisal, bro. Hey, it goes past SDS, bro. <laughs> what were we saying, though? Um... Oh, yeah. So let's say Ronaldo does a bicycle kick, but Decilio puts his head there. So after he does the bicycle kick, he hits Decilio in the head. What is it, a red card and the goal doesn't count? I think, I, nah, I, I think it depends on the moment. Yeah, it does depend on the moment. <laughs> I think it depends on the moment. We got robbed, bro. Honestly, we were cooking you guys at that, that point. That first half, you guys were better. Yeah, we were cooking, bro. But then that second half, mm. the moment it happened. Yeah, of course. Then at that point, bro, it's 10 versus 11 against Ronaldo. and, and... Luca, Luca Modric kickstarted his yeah, career from that yeah, moment. Yeah, true. But a lot of people forget that second goal, though. The, the Ronaldo goal. Forget, forget. Yeah, Ronaldo forget. goal. Put, uh, go back. Go, go back a little bit back. Well. It was Higuain's assist, too. Go, go, uh, one more back as well. It was the, uh, the, the back heel from... Uh, Ozo, right? Yeah, come on. Elite and assist. It, it, that's the, the game where we saw Modric, Kaka, Ozo at the same, uh, that the same time. That legendary. First time. Yeah, First yeah. time as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, of course. Well, we got robbed, for sure. <laughs> that Turkish referee, I love oh, I, I, oh, what's his name? K- K- Kagiz uh, or whatever uh, his name uh, is. Uh, it was uh, something like that. Oh, the waste man, bro. The, I, I can't stand him. Bro. One, of, one of the best referees. One of the I've worst, bro. One of the worst. We need, you know who we need? We need the La Liga ref. Oh, well, La, La Hose. Yeah, La Hose would have ref that fairly. <laughs> La, La, La Hose would have brought a red card. La Hose would have brought a red card. Mourinho's <laughs> off. I'm complaining. Waste, I hate him so much. <laughs> But you know what? I'm gonna go. Uh, it's easy. I'm gonna go with uh, better check. With check. Okay. I, I don't think it's a debate. Okay. Easily, mm. most consistent, most reliable, most solid. Right back. Right back. Who's your nominee? Who's my nominee? My nominee is Mike on, bro. The freight train. That's what I call him. He's a locomotive. This guy, bro, dominated entire flank. The right hand side. I'll give you a stat. 0809. Zlatan was Inter's top scorer. You know who their t- the second top scorer was? Mike it's Mike on, bro. Really? Mike on goal scoring assist thing, bro. It was him. Mike uh, was crazy. That season. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. I'll tell you how many how many goal contributions he had. Who? Mike on 2008 09. Who, who's your guy for the second decade? Arvaloa. 
Na, na. A bola haj. Je mať by Aspil Kvita? You've got Aspil. No, it's Ivanovic. That's what you got. Aspil Kvita was playing left back. You've got Ivanovic. You've got Valencia. You've got... It must be my confirm. Uh, and, 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 even, and even if you ask Jose, uh, I reckon if you ask Jose himself, who is my best right back mm. that I've coached, I would say, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure he would say Michael as well. Yeah. So I think, so I think that one. He might, uh, <laughs> he, might, he might say, to be fair, uh, Ferreira. He liked, he liked Paulo Ferreira from Porto. Porto and yeah, his and first stint. Which... But I thought Michael brought his peak. There, you won't find many better right backs. And of in course, Europe. Gareth Bell ended him. Yeah, yeah, look, every dog has his day. And Mike Conn's every day was Mike Conn's day was the Champions League final. But after that, <laughs> every hey, dog has his hey, day. Bell was a problem too, bro. Cool. Let's go with uh, second pick as well. Goes to you. Okay. So far, early, early Jose is 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 is, is moving yeah. crazy. Let's go back to uh, let's go to left back, our flank, left back. And I think that's only one clear choice. What are you gonna say? Afro Marcelo when he was playing Cohen Trow half the time. Uh, uh, chill, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Mm. <laughs> chill out. Mm. By the way, did you see that Giggs compilation the other day? Oh, where he was cooking Cointrell for like 39 Cointrell. years. Old. Oh. Hey, I, I, I Giggs, saw the retweet. Giggs was retweet. cooking Cointrell, bro. Uh, Giggs, by the way, Giggs, yeah. The stereotype about Giggs is crazy, fam. If I speak on Giggs, bro, Giggs is a bad guy. That's the only reason why I won't defend him for my life. Like he, he's got his own controversies, but bro, as a player, but 39 years old, bro. Giggs was, was, he, uh, Giggs was a top player, bro. Honestly. Should that pass? That 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 tribal uh, you see the one against Wigan? Is that what the one you're talking no, about? No, no, no. That game bro, itself. Yeah, Madrid I'm telling game. you, you watch any old United game, Giggs is always the player you, you look at and be like, yo, this guy was technically crazy, bro. Someone said, yeah, uh, someone said Ashley for you for you. Cole, Cole only played a Two. season and a half under in Mourinho. Jersey. And in fact, he was injured a lot of it. So I find it really hard to give it to Ashley Cole. I might even say Zanetti at left back. But Zanetti played most of the time at right back. With, with, no, Mike. No, right left back. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 he right, played right. midfield sometimes, but he was playing left back a lot for. for... So why? So what? So we give him to Zanetti for two seasons? <sighs> I don't know, man. Sp. I, I, Sp was a good a good servant for him for sure. I'll say, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna go Marcelo. We can go Marcelo if you want. Marcelo, though, in my opinion, I thought he really took off under Ancelotti. I thought. No, he did, he did. Yeah. But, but, but I can't, but I can't you can give you, him, but... but I can't give you third pick. I think you're going to have ones higher up the pitch, oh, to be honest you know what? with you. I know what? We'll let you guys decide. Gil, tell us who's the best left back Mourinho's coach. I, I, Spinazzola. I, I, <laughs> he did way, though, last yeah, season. Spinazzola in Euro 2020. <sighs> Problem. And then injury. And, and Galas was good. I'll say, you know what? Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with your one. What? Zanetti. Zanetti. Yeah, top, top player. Center backs. This one, I, one of them is definitely mine. JT has to be. Has to be. JT is, is a staple. It has to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, you've, of course, you've got Lucio. Lucio, I loved. Carvalho was really good. Carvalho was good. But out of the two, mm. I will go with El Capitan. Ramos. Sergio. Yeah, that's true. The, and Mourinho was the one who put him at centre-back, right? Excuse me. Made him uh, transform him into a right-back, mm. into a centre-back. And that classical where... Literally made him man mark. Pepe, of course, played CDM at one point. Yeah, Classic yeah. but played CDM. But it has to be That's Sergio. True. Yeah, we can give it. We can give it to him. Do you remember though? He brought Ricardo Carvalho to Real as well. Someone said. Someone said. Oh, this is a good one. Varane. Is that what he said? Varane. Rafa, I, would, I wouldn't put Varane. No, no, just just that one season. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, yeah. Debut made, season. Yeah, debut yeah. season. Debut, debut game scored against yeah. uh, Barcelona. That tackle against uh, Fabregas. Oh my! But I don't know, man. I, I would give it to, to Ramos. It has, but it has to be Car, Carvalho was. Carvalho like, was like, he brought him to, to Real as well. He brought him what? Porto, Chelsea, and Real. 100%. And Lucio was crazy as well too. I don't mind giving it to Ramos. As Sergio. Okay, so midfield. We'll go four three three. Let's go four three. Uh, Okay. Or let's put two strikers. Um, strikers are really the, the. So what we do? Four four two. Let's go old school. Four four two. But then again, we sacrifice a midfielder and then put a striker. I don't know. But I feel like, bro, that's too many strikers, bro. He has a lot of great strikers. Let's bro. go four four two. Four four two. Or maybe we. Do we go? Uh, guys, guys, do you guys want four four two or four three three? Because that's too many strikers to to. I know. For us to disregard. I know. And there's one for me that like it has to be him. Like there's one. Ch- 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 Four four two. He was Jordan Mourinho was four two three one. Really, like that's his that's his bag. Where my entire face was. What? I, I kind of just that's kind of the still. What? Uh, four four two. You know, what? let's go four four two. Four four two. Yeah, Jose. Jose is typically four two three one. We'll go four four two. Okay. Four two two. Yeah. Two midfielders. 
Lampard is in there. Lampard's and you know, you know, I'm not even a, I, I'm not a big Lampard fan whatsoever. I think he gets himself into some discussion that he probably shouldn't on ability. I can't lie. You know what? I know, uh, I'm changing. What are you changing? I'm to? changing my sense about. To who? I don't think Ramos is in there. I, th- I think that's fair to be honest with you. I wasn't. I, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna give it to you because I was. Go, I was getting a lot of the picks, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Cavani. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think. I think. I think. You know what? I'm taking my bias aside. Yeah. It has to be Cavani. Yeah. I don't think the Madrid uh, and no one at the uh, Madrid yeah, back. I, I would agree with you to be honest. With Cavani you. makes it, and even bro, even the, the, the Cavani was better at Madrid yeah. his first season. Yeah, he was. The, he was good at Madrid. The Ramos, so yeah. Let, let's Ramos go. Is a class let's act. change um, it. Let's change it. Let's put Cavani midfield. In. Well, midfield, I'm, 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 I'm 100. percent I think one. Lampard has to be in there. Lampard's in there, yeah. but, but I'm putting. Who are you putting next to him? Xavi Alonso. Alonso over Ozil over. But then again, I, I, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of my balance with the team, fam. It's tough, bro. You're not gonna have balance with this. There's no way. You're not gonna balance, is it? Yeah, there's no way. Okay, you know what? Misoud. Ozil. Ozil and Lampard midfield too. (laughs) Four four two. (laughs) Don't move it. I should just change. I think it's gotta be four two three one, bro. That's how that's how Mourinho always plays. Like four three three. Because if you go four three three, this is what I would go. Makaldele. Makaldele. I put Makaldele at the base, and then I put Lampard on one side, and I'd put Ozil as a ten. Ozil as a ten. That's what I would go with. But then again, you're sacrificing the strikers. Yeah, but that's the way you play, bro. And then on the on the left, I would go Hazard. On the oh, but then Ronaldo on the right, maybe. <laughs> now you go Ronaldo on the left. I'm not looking for on the right, bro. Hold up. It's it's tough, bro. People say Paul Lebel Pogba. Nah, Pogba's on. This hey, team. hey, hey! Come on, bro. Let's be real. Lebel. I love Lebel, but he's not on this team. First season wins the treble, bro. Come on. <laughs> First season wins the treble. What we're we doing now? <laughs> this guy's crazy, bro. First season with the trouble is crazy, bro. <laughs> that Mickey Mouse trouble. They're saying Panda clears Ronaldo. We're putting Panda in our team. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's tough, bro. You you really have to like pick. Maybe it's better than we do my team and your team because my team can have one formation, your team has another. What's your formation, your team? My team, I would go four one two one two four four two diamond. Okay. So I would go check Mike on uh, left back is Zanetti. I'd go. Terry and then one of Lucio or Cavallio. I'd put mm-hmm. Makaleli at the base. Mm-hmm. I'd have Lampard on one side. I'd have Deco or Schneider on the other side. I'd have uh, who is my my number ten? Or no, maybe I go. Yeah, no, I go. Sorry, Deco on, at, at eight. Schneider at the ten, and up front I go Milito and uh, Drogba. That's, that's that's a good team. You could even team. put Ibra in there if you want, but I, me Marie, Milito is my guy. That's a good team. Yeah, four one two one two. That's my team. You know what? I'm gonna go. All right, cool. It's my turn. Mm. I'm gonna go with uh, it has to be De Gea. De Gea go okay because he he's been the most consistent, most reliable. Mm. As crazy as that sounds, right back, that is crazy. The fact that I'm gonna say Albert Hall right back is mad. You know what? None of this, bro. Darmian, fam. It's a Darmian. <laughs> that bozo. Go Valencia if you want to go right back from United, bro. No way are you putting two United no, no, players no, no, no. Ivanovic, Ivanovic. <laughs> Ivanovic. I'm going to go Ivanovic. Left pack. Uh, I'm going to go Marcelo. I have to go Marcelo. Okay. Marcelo. Two centre-backs. I'm going to go Cavario. You can put John Terry again. JT again his first, second season. Yeah, you can even put Courtois in goal if you want. At Chelsea. There you go. I'm helping you out, man. It's such a mismatch. I, I'm going to help you out. <laughs> the kindness of my heart. I got you, bro. Go get you one. <laughs> yo, yo, go get you yo, Go crazy. get you one, bro. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go team. You know what? I'm so pay. I'm, I'm gonna stick with the hair as well. I'm so pay. I'm gonna stick with the hair. Go ahead, stick with the hair. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what else you got? Uh, so center backs. You got Ramos and uh, uh, Terry. Uh, Ramos and Terry. I'm gonna go. Uh, actually, no, not Ramos. I'll put Cavalli as well. Okay. I'm gonna. Go, no, no, no. Pepe. Pepe. Sure, Pepe. I'm gonna put Pepe. Pepe. Pepe and Terry. Two. Uh, my two thing. Chabi Alonso says Fabregas. Oh, that's hard. Okay. As a ten, Masoud. Okay. On the left, Cristiano. On the right, I got Eden. Okay. Hazard on the right. Hazard. I think Ronaldo on the right is, is, and then he has on the left. Anyway, but up front, Hazard trying to cut in on this. How you got that goal against Liverpool? That's true. Cool. Hey, and up front, what you got? Harry Edward Kane. Harry, <laughs> Harry Edward. It has to be Harry Edward. It's, it's not Kane. Benzema. It's not uh, uh, Costa. Hey, put your medals on the table, bro. Put your medals on the table, bro. <laughs> nah, I would give it. Wait, you're be... forgetting someone. You're forgetting someone big, bro. Oh, it's For... that time. Nah, bro. Yeah, you forgot him. For real. Hey, go in. Hey. 
end it, end it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, guys, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. It's young I'm, men. <laughs> yeah, that's a young men. I've never put that guy ever in any team, man. Fool. Uh, who do you think wins? I think my team clears yours, bro. I can't lie. Who's your striker, though? Who's combined? This is the best striker in, in, jo- in Jose's in, tenure in, is Drogba. Jo- jo- Drogba, tenure. Drogba. 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 Left, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Right, it has to be Hazard or Ronaldo. You forgot, you could have even put Di Maria in on the right. If you want to, like, go balanced. Put Hazard on the right, bro. As a 10, Ozil. His best 10 is Ozil for me. And the two pivots, Lampard and Sesk, Lampard and Makele, Lampard and Alonso. Lampard and I think balance wise, I think Makalili has to be in there. But I would say Lamp- Lampard is Lampard is is is, it's, it's, is it's a staple guarantee. in there. It's a guarantee. Oh, it's tough, man. Honestly, it's, it's really tough. Ooh, people said Eto. Eto was playing on the right though for Mourinho. To be honest, if you want to, no, 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 that's what they're saying. Eto on the right hand side. Oh yeah, I guess so. Fair enough. <laughs> nah, I, Di Maria was really good. Man. I'm, I'm such a big Di Maria fan. Hmm. You know, that's a good start. I think that's a good combined yeah, eleven. Mourinho's got some top players. But I'll tell you, like, who the ultimate uh, starting... Like, me and Cam did this, right? The mm-hmm. best combined eleven mm-hmm. of his whole career is your guy, Carlo. Carlo has the best combined yeah, eleven, he, bro. He does, Because, bro. yeah, he coached he, all the he, best he, players. He's lucky, bro. Like, every, he's lucky, every, he's lucky that Milan called him up. Bayern. <laughs> what were they PSG, thinking, bro? PSG, Madrid, both 10 years. I want to be that lucky, bro. Honestly. Chelsea. That's, if that's luck, I want to be that lucky, bro. I need some of that. Brazil next season... Hey. Where, with, that, with that super team of Brazil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vinny and Rodrigo. Why do you think they keep calling him, bro? Huh? You think he got, like, blackmailed him? Oh, Is that what he's doing? No, he's got, he's got, he's got that. You know what? You know about, about Carlo? That must, I have to respect him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the aura of him. What, you think Aura is getting him jobs? Eyebrow, bro. <laughs> so when they're signing the contract, he just lifts his eyebrow. It's like they had another zero. <laughs> hey. <laughs> tapped, man. But guys, let me know what you guys think about the team. And um, before we end it, mm. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. And I'm going to have you guys ask questions as well. Mm. My question, a couple of questions for you. Where do you think Jose will end up as in the, in the greatest managers of all time? Once he's finished, once he retires, once he hangs up the boots. I think where, 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 I, where I have him right now. To be, so, like, I can't talk on Cruyff. I can't talk on Bob Paisley and these guys. I can only speak on, like, what I know. I would put him third. I, I have like almost like one and two in terms of like it's really preference for me is is Pep and Fergie. I think both of them are at the top. Mm-hmm. And then I have Jose right behind them, to be honest with you. So I got him as second if you want, if you put them 1A, 1B or third. Do you think Jose can make second in, uh, at any time in his in his career? Like let's say he goes to a big team. Let's say he goes, I know it's not going to happen, to PSG. Mm-hmm. Wins them the iconic Champions League. Would it change for that would, that would be big. But I just think at this point in his career, Jose has had so many bad years yeah. that the other two just don't have. Like the other, like Fergie had it very early on in his career. Pep has never had that, 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 that never. poor start. Like the last, from 2015, where he won the league with Chelsea, mm-hmm. to now, I would say, it's been I pretty, it's pretty, pretty underwhelming. Like even the, 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 the cup that he won for Roma and the stuff he won for United, for an all time great manager, like that's not really like moving me. Like, but a Champions League of PSG would be huge, bro. But I just think that that period where he struggled, I don't think Pep and, and Fergie have. I, I, mm. I've got him. I can't lie, man. Like as 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 painful as this may might sound, mm. Pep is slowly yeah. for me is creeping that top spot. Pep, Pep is crazy. For me, for me at the moment, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm, I'm, my, my my love towards Jose mm. is clouding my judgment. Yeah. I know Pep numbers wise, result wise. Peak wise, playing eye style, yeah, yeah. eye test, longevity, IQ, legacy, longevity, yeah. everything, everything. It's all pep. It, but for me, the love of Jose is kind of my judgment. I feel like once it's done and dusted, I might have to change. I, I might have to change. But I don't yeah. think I'm going to change the extent of making him third. Because like, no. you don't rate Sir Alex, though. That's your problem, bro. We'll talk on Sir Alex one day, bro. Cause... Sir Alex in this era, fam. What do you mean in this era? The, uh, uh, Jose in this era, what's he doing? Trevor with uh, United. Huh? Trouble with United, come on, man. <laughs> Trouble with United, bro. Respect him. <laughs> come on, bro. Europa League. Hey, Fergie, Fergie is greatness personified. Hey, my guy right there, bro. This, Fergie is, is a dog, man. Honestly. What about what about, what about, the, what about the other guy? Carlo. <laughs> nah, Carlo, I don't got high, bro. I, I, I'm not as extreme is with he, you. Is he top five? Mm, maybe. Maybe. 
just because again, I can only go on like what I've seen. Yeah, he probably cracks the top five, but like after the three, I think there's like a fall off. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't think Car- Carlo can chat to Mourinho, for example. Wenger can't ch- chat to Mourinho, but they're probably in the conversation. Ooh, who's higher, uh, Arsenal or Carlo? Carlo. Okay. Carlo. I agree. Come on. I agree. Second question. Go ahead. What is the greatest moment of Jose's career? The in greatest your, moment of Jose's career, in your in your in your opinion, and guys, get what? I would say if you had to handpick one moment, ha- one moment that said, you know what, this is Jose. It's it's the the semi final against Barca where he goes and runs onto the pitch and he points mm. at like the Barca directors and says like yeah. this is what you could have had. Yeah, this, this that's for me, Jose. Like wow, people, he's he has yeah. arrived, man. Like honestly, yeah, I, I would say that's the moment. People, people think people, uh, people yeah. agree. Come on, man. Of course they agree. <laughs> if you, What's oh. up the leg? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it came. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna make that my, my, my merch, bro. I'm gonna sell merch with that brand it on not it. To lie. Hey, people saying Paul Man United. That's a big one when he Keep goes and runs down the, the touchline. Keep yeah, started. yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a very good one. Uh, yeah, cool. th- yeah, I would say, I would say the Barcelona. Let's flip it. Yeah, the worst moment of Jose's career. The worst. Uh, I would say the worst moment is getting sacked by Chelsea the second time. Ooh. Because from there, it's been downhill. You think so? Yeah, I would say that that loss to Leicester that did it. Mm. Remember when Leicester yeah. packed him 2-1, they left him in like 16th and stuff. Mm. And when he came out and basically said, I'm so sorry, I have nothing to say. I think that's where we saw like, okay, from there on, it's a decline. But if you ask me to pick like one moment, I would say the moment... The worst for him is probably not being able to get the, the coach Spurs in the final. I would say that you would probably say that's the worst moment for him, but maybe the ghost goal. But for me, the moment that I say, like, okay, if Jose was going up, 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 and the, the downfall, that point right there was the loss. Yeah. For me, for me, it, it, I'm saying the five nils. No the five nils, no, of course. Yeah. For me, it's not even. For me, I think I'll take it to uh, 11 12. The heartbroken moment. No, the, the, yeah, Biden, the, yeah. the Biden moment. He might say that too, to be fair. Imagine him making him being the one to bring that decimal home. Yeah, it's true. His, his history and rep at Madrid. He might say, true. though, too, that the semi final against Atletico that he lost for Chelsea. Mm. Yeah, that would have been a big one for him. I played Madrid. you guys in the final, too. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have been the first manager to win the Champions League. Champions League. Oh, no, you, they already yeah, won. Uh, yeah. with, with, off, off Di Matteo. Yeah. Your favorite moment. Last My one. favorite moment of I, Jose. Jose. Oh, that's a tough one. I would say my favorite moment. Tough questions Jose, only, baby. My favorite moment from Jose. I love, I don't know if it's my favorite, but one that I really like. When Ronaldo scored the winning goal against Man City, the third one, uh, and, and he New slides Island. onto the pitch. I, I love that one, bro. I love that one. I have a question for you, though. But I'll answer this myself. What is your favorite Jose quotable? The fit your the bar from Jose that that resigns with you the most oh, outside of I'm the special one. Special one is, is like a Chico. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. A Chico. I think I think it's when I've got nothing to say. I, I prefer to speak. I, 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 if I speak, I'm if I speak, trouble. I'm in big yeah, trouble. Yeah, yeah. But I still use it too. Like I still yeah. use it on my day to day. Sometimes I just joke about it and I say it. But for me, that will. I think that that is basically the the whole tagline about Jose. Chose the second step because mm. every pre- every that second that that third season every press conference felt like he's got, he had nothing to say. Yeah, it always felt like something was coming. For yeah. me, it'll be that. I think my favorite one is when they were playing Barcelona for Chelsea, and he was up against Rijkaard, and Rijkaard was saying, yeah. "I think he does too much commotion on the side." Then he's like, "Mr. Rijkaard, he was a great player, but I have a lot of trophies, he does. and he has none of them." <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know what? You know what? What's the most savage? The most Club. savage one it has, has to be the Debella one. Oh, the, the worst manager in, in Premier League history. That's a good one, but the one about uh, Arsenal and Wenger. Oh. He's a specialist in failure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or when they were saying, like, uh, boring, boring Chelsea. It's like, yeah, boring, boring. <laughs> I mean, boring is, it, boring is winning six times in a row. What are they going to chant? Funny, <laughs> funny, Jose. <laughs> I was an accent as well. <laughs> funny, funny, Jose. Where I used to go, man. Honestly, I'll tell you this. I don't know if any of you guys, you guys might be a little too young for this. You might remember, but B- on BBC, they used to have this thing called Special One TV where it was like almost like a puppet show. I'll show you on YouTube later where it was like animations basically, but like they all like did like caricatures of like Mourinho, of Wenger and stuff like that. And it was his show and he was the, the host of it. Bro, they, they had the accent spot on, like the, the mannerisms were spot on. The guy is just like, 
a bona fide superstar of the, of the sport. And like, you don't see that often with coaches. It's usually the players are the stars, but Mourinho was like a main character. hundred percent. Do you think, do you think we'll ever see someone, a manager that, that, no. can, that can be no. 50% of a Jose? No, because I don't think we have anyone before him. Jose is one-on-one, bro. He's a one-on-one manager. Yeah, he's, a, he's generational. For generational. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Jose, Jose, Jose. Funny, funny. Hey, <laughs> his press conferences are elite, bro. He's got so many of them. But, but, but yeah, man, like, like we, we spoke about. Oh, I don't feel no pressure. You cannot pressure me. No, no, no. Oh, uh, oh. How many, how, how many managers have you won the Champions League? Oh. Only one, Sir Alex. Only one, Sir Alex. Wait, uh, do you feel pressure? Pressure? Oh. Cannot pressure me. Whoa, he, he's got so many moments, man. This guy's asking me. It's my opinions on facing stars on SDS Mastermind. Stars is going to be an interesting one, right? I don't think it's as easy a matchup as what he got. I think they handed him like a lifeline, bro. That's a, that's a play-in matchup. Right? <laughs> they got the Bulls coming up from the play-in. That's what he got. Stars, he, Stars is slept on. I'll tell you this right now because they do the Euro talk. He knows about like – if they ask me about Lens, for example, in France, he's going to be telling me about Openda and, and uh, Fofana. Like, he knows about this kind of stuff. But I back myself against anyone, bro. I back my I, the, the comments and the replies is, is they're by gassing the way, me crazy. By the way, but I, I guess I, I back myself against anyone, bro. Anyone, anyone can get it. Anyone can get it. Bro. Anyone. Pulse. Not a play. Play <laughs> that shit, bro. Anyone can get it, bro. When it comes to football trivia, I'll take anyone on. All right, guys, listen. Everyone said, by the way, this is a disrespect towards me as well. Everyone in the replies of Sharky's tweet and everyone within the first video, everyone said. Leas is gonna win. Leas is gonna win. Leas is gonna win. Leas, bro, I had the shout. I think only a couple of people is, is, uh, gave me gave me props, guys. Where's the respect towards me, like? Hmm? Where's my respect? My respect. That's another one. Respect, man. Respect. <laughs> respect. But uh, look, you're 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 a worthy adversary. I'll give you your flowers, and I hope I play you in a final because I, the only one that really concerns me that that, that, that leaves me like thinking to myself. Oof. Hey, that that forty year old ball knowledge that's a problem. It's 50, who had fifty, bro. It's sixty to be honest with you. Might as well push it to seventy. Yeah, bro. eighty honestly. Fuck <laughs> it. Prime ninety year old. Damn century. <laughs> How about that? That's the one who concerns me. Who had definitely concerns me. But bro, honestly, anyone can get it, man. I think I'll win. Anyone? Can, you you think you'll win? I think um I think the I think the Fuad game. This guy said I can put my mortgage on Faisal now with it. Oh, bro. First of all, we both know you don't have a mortgage. <laughs> so shut the hell up. Because you broke. Hey, mini shorts only. You call you broke, bro. Shut the hell up. Shut that. But like, I feel like I think I can win. I feel like my only problem is not the opponent. I, I don't think I'm going to get um, uh, deflated. Oh, when... are you saying you're, you're the only person that can stop yourself? No, I'm the only person. If I can control myself, if I can control the time limit, and if I can control myself mentally and handle the pressure, I can win easily. I don't know, bro. That 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 video against Fuizzi did not fill me with confidence. Bro. What, Honestly, what, what did what, what did you, what what did not fill you with confidence? Letting letting Fu rack up ten points on your head, bro. That's like letting like a, a blind man get a few shots at your face in a fight, bro. Come okay, on. Okay, so bro. you so you now Come on, that's like letting Mata score three goals against you, bro. <laughs> that's like that's going that's like winning five four against San Marino, bro. I need convincing, bro. So okay, so you so you uh, you determine ball knowledge by. I mean, yeah, bro. It's all the process of the brain, bro. How quickly can you anticipate? And you wouldn't get it to be honest with you. But when you do the studies into how quickly your hand can move, coordinated with your brain, thinking about football, it all makes sense, bro. Trust me. I've done my cool. research on this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if Stars gets at least ten points. <laughs> no, hold up. Stars is a worthy adversary, bro. Star stars is it knows more about ball than who is he? Bro? I agree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but you rate yourself very highly. Yeah. I'd like, cool. I'd like to think the I the game. Know. The game is up to twenty five points. Yeah. How much do you think you can win? I'll win, bro. At the end of the day, it's a result. It's a result of business, bro. Honestly, okay. you know, win is a win. Bro. <laughs> result of business. So, win is a win, bro. Okay. I don't. I don't want to go. I don't want to say that I'm a destroy star player, but if stars gets at least ten, okay. Well, if he gets as many points as Fu, it's a failure. Okay. No way, bro. More, more, no, because no, no, you're picking up yourself much way more than what I'm doing. You're basically saying everyone can get, it, everyone it, can it, get. It depends, honestly, bro. I, I have to see what the questions are like. If, if he starts asking star player about Somaliland players, star player is going to know more than me about that. So, but I can guarantee you one thing: what? by this time next week, we'll be talking about who I'm playing in the next round. And by this uh, time in two weeks from now, what were you saying? I'll what be fighting against me. I hope to see you there. I know I'll be there. I hope to see you there too. May the best person win. Absolutely. But guys, this has been the first stream. 
this has been long awaited to be fair a lot of people have been asking with the streams mm. it's, it's, been, good. it's been good yeah, uh, I, mean, yeah. I mean what's your thoughts of, of, of the debut i think it's good bro you were talking about I, i'm hoping for 200 300 you had 500 people on the stream bro so that's good Do I? yeah yeah look now you have 450 because like it's coming at the end but you had 500 people on the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, i call it, i wasn't even paying attention uh, rookie uh, rookie mistake you're also looking at this the whole time you gotta look at the, the camera bro i was looking at this yeah, all the time yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll give it. You're casual still, bro. You gotta, you gotta hit the gym, bro. Get, get a few reps in, bro. You'll get there, though. You'll get there, little bro. I got. <laughs> you, need to, you need to behave. You need to behave. You need to behave. But guys, before we end it, uh, a lot of people want to ask questions. If you guys want to ask questions about anything, it's your time now. I'm gonna give you what time is it now? It's 42. I'm gonna give it eight minutes till 50. We're gonna end it. Any football related, any personal related, just it's a quick Q and A. Any questions you have, just let us know. The first person is my man. Do you think Josie would have been successful with Portugal uh, for the Portugal job? Uh, depends on on what point in his career. Right now, uh, probably not. But at, at one point, definitely, bro, hundred percent. Do you think Josie would have won uh, if he was if he replaced basically Santos Santos in two thousand sixteen? Would he have won the Euros as well? Yeah, he could have. He, he, 2018? He, 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 18 the World Cup. Nah. Last World Cup? I think he would have done better than Santos. Santos, I, I've never been a fan of Santos. But look, I, I just don't think that Portugal team was good enough to win the World Cup. I think now you're looking at a team that... It's it's ironic because Ronaldo, when he was really at his best, like that's when the, the Portugal team wasn't that great. Postiga and uh, who was the center back that they had? Um, oh, play for uh, Porto, Bruno uh, Silva. Uh, Bruno, Bruno Silva. That, that name, right? Bruno, Bruno Alves. Bruno, Bruno Alves, Alves yeah, played yeah. for Lille as well. Gene yeah, uh, Genoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but now that the team is really good, Ronaldo's kind of like the, the minute. So it's kind of a shame. Yeah. Who would be a bad manager, Faisal or Lias? Uh maybe you. To be honest with you, I don't. I don't know. It would be different, bro. You're more emotional. I would say. Me, I, I'd be more like tactical. No, nah, I'm not really tactical, but like, I'd do you be... consider yourself a tactical? No, no, I hate when people call me on Twitter, bro. Honestly, I've never tweeted about for like inverted fullback. I, bro, I just, I'm, I'm a vibes tweeter, honestly. That's, That's the way I would describe, same, bro. Same. I, I like the thing I know about both. I just give my opinion. If you agree with it or not, fine, but I'm not, I'm not backing it up like stats or something perfect, like that. Bro. Perfect definition. Yeah, I'm a vibes tweeter, bro. But I feel like as a manager, I feel like, I feel like I'll cook as a manager. I think the best manager on who would be the best manager on SDS? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, would it be? Ooh. And we can't say ourselves. You can say yourself. You, you, you think you're the best manager on, on SDS? I feel like the best manager on SDS. I don't know if you it. I don't think it's Fuad. I think, I think on his day. On his day. <laughs> on his day. And if he wants to be, Ilias. Ilias. But does Ilias have like the charisma to capture uh, the dressing room and like you gotta be a good leader as well too? I feel like Ilias is making too many too many jokes, too many dirty jokes, bro. <laughs> I couldn't take him seriously. But I call it like, Ilias. I, I think Ilias of or like all the mandem, I'm like he's the only one that's been part of the dressing room. Mm. Like, he, he, he's a former. Yeah. He's a former thing. Uh, I feel like you know. I feel like it, in my opinion, no bias. I, I'm not gonna say myself. I, I say Ilias. You said Field, of course. Yeah, fair enough. This one. City Treble Team versus Madrid 3P Team. I don't think this City Treble Team is even the best City Team. So I would say Facts. Madrid 3P Team. Uh, we will cook them. What's your thought of, of, of uh, Mason Mount? I'd like him at United alongside another midfielder. But if that bid just got rejected, 50 plus 5, we should stop going in. Mm. That, that's the most we should pay for a, a player with one year left on his deal who has already said he's not staying with the club. He's not going to extend. And he's mm -hmm. coming off his worst year ever. Like Chelsea yeah. should not have any leverage in that position. So Facts. I would walk away. Chelsea can lose him in a year. That's what I would do. It's Benzema. It, Real Madrid's greatest ever striker. Greatest ever striker. It's between him and Alfredo Di Stefano. Do you but... count Raul as a striker? I do, but I don't. I think Benzema's higher than that. I think the, the, the best two strikers ever for Madrid it, it would be Stefano. But then again, Stefano spent, really spent, spent most of his career as a ten. As yeah, a, it's like, striker is it's Puskas. Like, huh? It's like it's like Diego. It's like Diego Mondo. Mm. I would say out of Raul and Benzema, it'll be Benzema. But I think the Stefano's higher than him. Mm. If we had to do an all-time all ranking, what did you think e about even, even the... posting uh, that clip of your boy the Stefano doing the step over and everyone's cooking him now? Come on, man. Uh, he he inv he invented that move. The step over. The step over. The Stefano invented the step over. Are you, are you positive about that? You are you willing to put your, your reputation on the line that Alfredo Di Stefano invented the step over? Next question, please. 
I don't know if he invented the stuff over. That's a big claim. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> hey, so Black Roman Champions. Hey, that was a howler. And you know what the worst thing was? Fu said some stupid ass shit. You laughed at him. There was a big pause. And he said Blackburn. Do you know what it is? Bro, what did he say? It was like Monaco or something he said. And you're like, no, Monaco didn't win it. And it was like, Blackburn. I was like, what? Do you know what it is? I look back at it. There were so many teams that we didn't mention. Enter, Mm. Chelsea. We forgot the big teams. I was watching. I was like, that one I would have been better on that one. When he mentioned uh, Aston Villa... Mm. And he, I think he mentioned Forest. I don't know if he mentioned Forest. I knew another English club of one of that back back then. I don't know why Blackburn. Came but he to said it. Villa and Forest. Those are the two. I don't know why. I thought there was a third Blackburn one. Hype, bro. And, and I said Black. I don't know why I said Blackburn. <laughs> no. I've got no idea why I said Blackburn. But then again, that one, so it doesn't matter. Mm. But that that mistake is not going to be uh, repeated. I didn't say you make that mistake against me, bro. It's cash money. It's cash money, bro. <laughs> hey. I ain't gonna give you the chance, bro. How about <laughs> hey, that? You're high for, hey. You know what? Don't worry about me, man. You know what? How about, how about this? How about this? Yeah. How about we end it? We end it with a quick, with a quick one. What are you doing? Before we end it. What are we doing? Do you want to do last? Or do you want to do the, the, the first one? No, hold on. We can't spoil Sharky's whole. No, 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 no. no, we can't spoil. We can't. By the way, hold on. That's not me saying that the, the rounds have been decided or whatever. Me and Faisal have not played each other. Oh, by the no, way, no, no, no. That's that's just me saying. Like just one. We can't add on to the the, the Sharky's no, series. No, no. The only game that's been played is, is Faisal versus Fu. And uh, destroyed him. Why are you scared of the FIFA tournament? He's not good this way. That's I'll come. Next question. I'll come. He's not. It doesn't matter if you come. You're not playing it. I don't care, man. What's our head to head? Huh? What's our head to head? It's three three. Exactly. What's the last three games been? What's the first three games? I asked for the last three. You're only as good as your last one. It's not about who did it first. It's about who did it right. Name the song. Pip couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're nasty, man. You are. Uh, let's give it three more. Uh, if, oh, this is nice. If you'd add one player to any Mourinho squad, who would you add in, in, to what squad? Ooh. So I guess to that Real Madrid team, who would you have added to, to solidify? Within Mourinho's players yeah. or outside of Mourinho's players? I have to assume within because then it's within, just messy, okay. obviously. <laughs> I, I, I want to add Mike on. Imagine, imagine a fullbacks mm-hmm. line of uh, of Mike on the right side and Marcelo on the left hand side. I, to that Real Madrid team, I would have added Zlatan, just because I think Zlatan was born to play at the Bernabeu, man. Like I, that Barca move. Although I said like it was, a, everyone thought it was a good move because of how good he was. It was a, Zlatan's personality is a Galactico. Zlatan was built to play for Real Madrid. Arrogance. Bro. Yeah, and you guys always needed a striker like when you guys were after uh, De Bayor and who else did you guys want back then? Benzema was really cutting it yeah. under him. Ibra would have been hard at Real Madrid, man. Would Crazy. Been. It would have been a good move. For okay. Chelsea, that, that Chelsea team, who would really have improved the that first Chelsea one or the second one? The first one. I would say... Imagine, ooh, imagine Eden Hazard on that first Ronaldo, team. obviously. Uh, of know. course, Ronaldo. Imagine Eden yeah, Hazard. Yeah, Hazard on one side. Uh, Robin on the other would have been really good. Or even Joe Cole on the other side. Yeah, that would have be been really good. Let's, let's do two more. Uh, face it with t- 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 the tables. <laughs> I love my tables, but you guys know that, huh? Face it love. Why are you even reading <laughs> these comments, right? You're crazy, man. But I, <laughs> Can SDS do a mastermind versus fans? You gotta, you, we're not asking the right people, bro. By the way, by the way, a lot, you know, you know, you know let's end it with that one. Yeah. A lot of people they reply to the last video saying, Oh, the question is easy, the question is easy, the question is easy. The questions are easy if you watch it from an audience perspective. Yeah, yeah. When you're with when you're playing, it's tough. And the countdown, it's not a question, bro. This game is all about mentally. Once the countdown begins, your mind goes black yeah, yeah. completely. Just, I gotta think about that when I go now, bro. It's, it's handling yeah, yeah. the pressure, bro. The questions are easy, bro. The moment you hear the questions, you think, oh, what, what, what Champions League winners? Mm. Easy. Once the countdown begins, and once Sharky, once Sharky does this, that hand, that hand. I is... feel like lies as well too. It's tough because um, you know how many you can do, but like if someone says they can do more, yeah, it's a bluffing game. The thing is, like if someone says fourteen, you you think he can do fourteen, but fifteen might be too much for you. It's it's really tough. I, I would and you think, forget yeah. you forget that you only have thirty seconds to name them. Yeah, that's true. and the buzzer thing, you have to be quick. The, the, I, you know what, guys? Um, as Sharky mentioned last time, you should do you should do today. this at, on TikTok with these guys on TikTok Live. That's a, that's a shout yeah, to you. Yeah. Instead of hot takes, do do that next. That's a shout. That's a shout. And you know what? Producer, bro, that's what I do. Producer, hi. I'm coming for a Steve's job next, bro. How about that? <laughs>
That's the essence of new producer anyways. Bro. Hey, but guys, listen, it's been a pleasure. Mm. Thank you for all the 429, 504, everyone that tuned in. Honestly, it's been a pleasure. This YouTube thing is crazy to me. And if you guys asked me a year ago, two years ago, if I would ever, bro, I didn't even have social media back then. So the fact, uh, honestly, bro, the fact I'm on here, it is mental. But the fact that you guys have been showing mad love, I just want to say thank you, of course, to the person sitting next to me. Appreciate Liz. it, bro. First of yeah. all, thank you for coming on. Of course. Bro. Secondly, thank you for the setup. Of course. <laughs> I have to say thank you for the setup. Of course. Of and course. lastly, thank you for allowing me to, of course, use 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 this lobby. Of course, bro. Of course. Of course. My pleasure, but, man. But speak. Uh, if you want to promote something, yeah. if you want to add something, <laughs> it's, your t- it's your chance. Now, big up you for having me on. First of all, like I said, you're killing the YouTube game right now. And uh, yeah, you inspired me to, to restart my YouTube channel. So guys, if you are interested, I think you put my link in the bio. Go check it out. I'm not as consistent as this guy yet. But I'm putting out some good content, man. If you like any of my short form on Instagram, TikTok, and you want like longer form content of that, go check out my YouTube. I'm trying to be consistent on there. But nah, big up you, bro. More success to you. Continue killing it. And I, I hope to see you in the final. Because if not, hey, I'm going to cook the hell out of you, bro. How about that? There you go. By the way, if I be him in the final, you guys are coming. I know I'm doing a live stream and you're here. What? If I be him, if I be you in, in the, the final, final, you know, that's if you make I the like final. you got mad comments since then. You were scrolling at the ones at the top. Oh, bro. These guys are still asking you only questions. Oh, yo, guys, guys, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, yo, just keep them for the next one. Next one. Next yeah. one. Next one. But guys, but by the way, if you got, if, 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 if you want to be a mod, DM Yeah, DM me. him and DM him on your YouTube. Facts, facts. But guys, like I said, pleasure. Thank you. Shuklan, mercy. Much obrigado. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Peace.